Hi, Benji. Hi, Leo. Guess what we're doing today? Cool, what are we doing today? Today we're gonna be doing the Mega Roller Coaster Build Challenge, and we're gonna only have 15 minutes to get this challenge completed, so who's gonna have the better one, Leo? Is it gonna be me, or is it gonna be you? <laughs> you already know it's gonna be me, of course, Benji. I've been improving. <laughs> okay, we'll just have to see about that, huh, Leo? But, if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh yeah, let's get started. All right, Leo, let's do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, could you tell me what a roller coaster looks like again? I, I honestly forgot. Are you serious, Leo? Come on. All right, well, don't worry. I'll get some rails for you and maybe a card and I'll show you a little bit of a tiny demo of what they might look like. All right, Leo, check this out. This is what it's going to look like for just tiny purposes. You get the rails down and a minecart. That's it. Okay, see now it's all flooding back to my memory banks. Now I can get started. Uh, okay, Leo. Good luck, all right? We're gonna go ahead and do this 15 minutes starting now. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. So what we're gonna start off first is a big ramp because everybody knows that the real proper awesome good roller coasters start with a good old ramp. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And the block we're gonna be using is the purper block because... Purple, obviously. All right, and now we're gonna build up with this ramp with the purple blocks, and of course they're purple. As you can see down there, I built a little bit of the track just to make sure I got some nice progress, and look at that, this thing is so tall now. We're gonna build it out here and just kind of feel it out and see where we can go with it. All right, now we're gonna add these powered rails onto this ramp so that way he can go shooting up as fast as possible. We don't want him falling all the way back down, that would defeat the whole purpose. And at this top of this ramp here, we're going to stop on a powered rail block, and since the powered rail is not powered, instead of the usual where it pushes you forward when it's powered, it makes you stop instead. Um, but hold on, before we do that, I'm gonna add a little bit more pizzazz to this railroad right here. It looks a little bit lackluster. Okay, uh, boom, there we go, okay, get- that and there and there we go this looks much better and we're just gonna add this redstone block right here so we have tons of power and woohoo guys look at me i'm going up really fast we got all the powered rails so now we are flying and whoo as you can see we stopped on the unpowered powered rails and we're just gonna go ahead and build on and what we're going to be building is some parkour made out of the purpose of course in order to get to the end of this parkour, he's gonna have to make some good old jumps, have a jump to a ladder here and there, and then, for the very last bit of this parkour, he's gonna have to jump into a minecart. But in order to get the minecart, he has to get it from a chest first. So once he gets it from the chest, he can place it down, jump to the minecart, make it to the lever so he can bring that lever back to the unpowered rails, charge up the powered rails with the lever, and then he can continue on with the giant roller coaster. Oh, that was a lot, but trust me, it'll be better, easier shown than said. So we'll see in the future. You'll see. Hopefully Leo can do it really quickly. But once Leo does get here, I'll just demonstrate what happens. He'll sit, place the lever, and then boom, he'll go forward just like so. And then he'll go all the way down this very, 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 very long fall. Oh my gosh, this is so far. I'm feeling kind of queasy. Oh, okay, we landed. But this is where the next section is going to be, and I'll show you in just a second. Almost done, and boom! Whoa, would you look at that? Oh, wow, that was so cool. I love when I do builds like this, but it's super trippy, and he's gonna fall down into this, and that's when the fun's gonna begin. But now that it's built, we might as well test it out, right? Let's have some fun. Whoa, oh my gosh! This is so high, but this'll be really cool, though. Leo's gonna have a blast. I can only imagine what he's gonna sound like. Oh, okay, we hit the floor. We're all the way down here. Benji, are you alright? I just heard you screaming! Uh, yes, Leo, I'm all good. Uh, everything's fine. Don't worry about me. I'm just, uh, in a bit of a, uh, what would you call this? Pickle! A pickle? I mean, pickles are good, though. Like a dill, or what kind of are we talking about here? Well, uh, I don't really know if I'd classify this as a dill pickle, but I, I'm fine. Don't even worry about me, Leo. The, forget the pickle. Uh, okay. As long as you're good, that's all I really care about. But also, a side note, I just really don't want you to make a roller coaster that's super high off the ground because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> just uh, please leave it lower, okay? And then we'll all be okay, right? Absolutely, Leo. I would never steer you in the wrong direction, especially high up. I just couldn't do that to you. Okay, what was I thinking? Of course you wouldn't do that to me, Benji. Okay, well, good luck with your build. I'm going to keep on building mine. All right, Leo, good luck, and... 
We'll see who's the best one. We sure will, but good luck to you too. Thank you. <clears throat> However, let's get back to the task at hand here, guys. So, for this nether place that I wanted to do, it's going to involve netherrack tunnels. A bit of a labyrinth type vibe, just imagine that. And then it's eventually going to lead to a chest that has a bow and some arrows in it. And then Leo, our friend here, is going to have to shoot some ghasts. Well, they're not going to be actual ghasts because uh, we don't have the budget for that quite just yet. They're going to be statues because I can at least build, you know, the pro Benji over here. I, I can do a thing or two with a thing or two. But Leo is going to have to loop in front of the ghasts to be able to shoot them. And we'll obviously provide that ability for him to do so and he will have to shoot the gas, and then basically the gas are gonna have target blocks near the center of their face and their mouth. So, but once they're hit, they're gonna release a redstone pulse into a piston on the inside of the gas, and then this piston will keep the lights on, indicating the gas has been hit. Oh, and the signal will also be connected to a wireless transmitter. So, said transmitters are connected to a receiver that when both are turned on, they will switch the end of the rail loop to go to the exit of the level. Hopefully that all made sense. And if not, eventually you'll see Leo going through it, so it'll be more entertaining that way regardless. And with that being said, in order for Leo to exit the level, he's going to have to ride into the mouth of the third gas statue, which I have built right here. And inside, I made a TNT player launcher, which, don't worry, I'll explain it in just a second to make it make more sense. Leo is going to ride over a detector rail that will trigger an arrow dispenser, which will boot him out of the minecart onto the fence pole in the middle of the water pool. And once he gets in here, <laughs> some things are going to happen, let's just say so. All right, well, TNT, uh, you know, his favorite TNT, will be deployed, and then it will blow him up into the air, launching him straight up into the next part of the section, or for this, you can call it the track. All right, and let me just demonstrate here what's just going to happen. It's going to be really fun, honestly. Watch. We zoom on into the water. The TNT deploys. We explode up into the air like so Woohoo! this is awesome and then right here i'm going to have a pressure plate for him to land on and then he's gonna have a slope to go down and then it's gonna go up it'll just be really cool watch you'll see i'll show you in a second and boom look at that that's pretty cool i think and then he's gonna go over here which he's gonna be faced with the decision he's gonna have to choose right or the left and naturally, I'm going to make him choose the right and, well, not make, but encourage him to choose the right because it's not going to be the right way. Ironically, the left side's going to be the right way. Now, if he chooses the right side, just know that he's going to be faced with a Ravager. And those things are vicious. I mean, you do not want to get in contact with those. Um, so yeah, it's needless to say he's going to meet his demise if he chooses the right side, which he just might because I'm going to, you know, encourage him to. However, if he does choose the left side, it's going to lead him down a spiral railway to the next part of the track, which is going to be the right part of the next section. All right, everybody, so this next section is going to be really fun for Leo. So he's going to go through kind of Indiana Jones style through this really jungle looking tunnel. And then he's going to have to dodge tons of arrows while his minecarts flowing through all of the railways. And then eventually he'll make it through. And honestly, I don't know if he's going to make it out unscathed or not. This is just a really fresh idea that I had in my mind. And honestly, I thought it'd be really cool to see if it would work out or not. Before I go any further, I want to build up the sides with some purple purr purr blocks because, oh, I just love purple. It's so good. I just, it's my favorite color. I mean, how could I pass up this opportunity? Anywho, once he gets out of the tunnel, he's going to go onto a wobbly, bumpy part of the track until going up to a bubble water elevator. The bubble water elevators are actually a really cool build and they're really interesting because you use soul sand to use the bubbles. Like, it's weird. Like, it's almost like the souls are making all these bubbles come out of their mouth and they're just cursed it's, it's it's so weird but you know what it is what it is we use the soul sand to make the bubbles for the elevator and then once that's happening it's going to propel anything upwards and to anything that goes inside of it it's really cool but the water obviously has to be there so once you're at the top of the bubble elevator there's a trip wire that's going to be set up and then when the trip wire is triggered the piston will push whatever is in front of it and make it bounce forward onto the track AKA this is going to be Leo and then hopefully he'll just keep going like that's kind of the plan. All right. And once he gets to the top of this, what you didn't know is that this is going to be the last bit of the section. So if he gets here, he's going to be right at the very end and things will be super awesome for Leo. But the last bit of the track here, 
Leo's going to have to stop on an unpowered rail here once more, but there's going to be a sign in the middle, and he's going to have to choose. It's going to say, what should you do right now? On the right, it's going to say, take a break, which isn't going to be the right decision. And on the other side, it's going to say, subscribe. So <laughs> hopefully he chooses the right one. I mean, who wouldn't choose subscribe, right? That's just like the obvious answer, right? Come on. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if he does choose the wrong answer, he's going to get mauled by a Ravager again. So hopefully he just does not choose the wrong answer, because that would be tragic. However, when he chooses the right way and goes to the subscribe button on the left side, he's going to see that he can go to the finish line and then he's going to get the treasure. And I know he's going to love this treasure room because he's in love with huts for some reason, but this, this treasure room is, is going to be themed like a hut. That's kind of what I decided a long time ago, and it's going to be really cool. Hopefully he likes it. Okay, and then in each of these chests, uh, we're just gonna fill it up with some gold ingots, and then we'll just call it a day. I think he'll enjoy that because he really likes gold, like that is his thing. Then with these banners, we're gonna spell out F, I, N, I, and S. Oh, that's uneven. Okay, well, H. It's gonna say finish, but let's make that look better. <laughs> All right, so I've just decided it's going to be a little uneven, and we're just going to have to make up a word. What about, uh, finish, uh, finish, uh, oh, goodness. What should I make it? Okay, uh, finish, uh, finishy? Yeah, finishy, yeah, yeah. Let's just go with that. Leo won't even notice. Anyway, he, he's new, so it, it, he'll, it'll be fine. It's, he'll appreciate all this. But speaking of Leo, Leo, how are you doing over there? I'm so glad that you asked, Benji, because I'm almost done. Well, that's good, because the timer is about to go off in five, four, three... Oh my gosh! Uh, place my last block! One. Oh, okay, I just finished. I'm ready, Benji! Okay, good, because I'm on my way. All right, Leo, I'm headed over there. Oh, good! I'm so excited for you to see it! All right, and look at this! Uh, oh, uh, this is your giant railroad that you wanted to make? Your giant roller coaster? Uh, yeah, d what, you don't like it? Uh, no, 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 I, I love it, Leo, this is great, oh my goodness, uh, I, 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 uh, wasn't expecting this, this is great, <laughs> great, I love it. Oh, thank you so much, and also, uh, I hope you enjoy that steak, and you can go ahead and, uh, and ride, <laughs> go ahead and go in. Oh, Leo, wait, before, before I go on, I just wanted to admire this real quick, I, I don't think I've really taken in what all this ride really is, you know, I, I've been kind of, like, taking it for granted, and, I really just think you deserve so much more credit. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Enjoy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, I know. Isn't it just the scariest thing you've ever seen? All right. Anyways, you're going to have to choose here. Which one do you want to go on? Oh, well, uh, let's see here. There's two purple, and those are my favorite colors. So clearly, those are the ones you want me to go through, right? Okay, so I'm going to go through the one on the left here first and just see what happens, all right? This looks like the right decision to make, Leo, right? Because you would choose my favorite color, right? I mean, that that's how it works, isn't it, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead and give it a go, Benji. Yeah, it's, it might just be purple. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. Oh, 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 you lied to me, Leo. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, why am I not dying? I, I'm just, I'm stuck here forever. What's going on? Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. I just, I, I felt a little bit hurt right there. I, I wanted to just feel the pain a little bit longer because of you betraying me, Leo. I thought you were going to make it purple this time. Oh, come on, Benji. You know that's not how it works here. You always have to choose my favorite color because I built it, remember? Oh, come on. It, uh... You know, I, I can't believe that, Leo. I, I feel like you're pulling my leg. So with that being said, I, I'm going in the one on the right here because clearly you wouldn't do me dirty twice, right? It has to be my favorite color. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Wait, Leo, I don't have anything to defend myself. I'm being attacked by zombies right now. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, so you did betray me. Oh, Benji, don't look at it like that. Come on, it's just my favorite color is yellow, and I built it, and I just got really excited. I just really wanted it to be my color. You surely have to understand. You would do the same thing, wouldn't you? Oh, you know what? Honestly, you're you're probably right. I, I might I might have chosen my favorite color a time or two, so I, I forgive you, Leo. I, I was acting a little bit cruel there. I, I apologize. I accept your apology. It's all okay. And now, I just want you to look ahead a little bit. I have that lava floor, just like you like. I do like looking at that lava, Leo. That, that is something that you know I like, and honestly, this is really cool. So, uh, 
I'm assuming this is some parkour that I have to get across here. And then uh, there's like more track. One. All right. Two. And three. Am I doing it? This is what you want. Yes, that's perfect. Keep going. You just have to get to that next track right in front of you. And then you can keep going. Make sure you have that cart though. Oh, yep. I definitely have it. I have it right here in my inventory. And I'm just going to go ahead and assume you want me to go right here. And go down this big hill. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. There's so many zombies. Oh my goodness. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, so you so applied me with a sword in the middle, and I, I can't do that on the cart, Leo. What were you thinking? Um, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of a fun activity. You can't blame me for that. I really thought that you'd enjoy spinning around and, you know, kind of going with the sword and really surviving because you're going fast enough, right? I, I thought that they wouldn't be able to get you, but, you know, in retrospect, it was kind of close quarters. Yeah, it was just a little bit too close. I mean, you, you, so, you only spread them out like three blocks of length. Actually, no, two blocks. Oh my goodness, Leo, come on. Anyways, regardless of that, Leo, it, it was fun, okay? It, it was cool, but where do I go now? Yep, right there, that's perfect. And then just hit that lever and keep on going. Wait, th that was it? Uh, yeah, that was it, didn't you have fun? Uh, yeah, Leo, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that was really fun, Leo. Thank you for that really giant, awesome, fun roller coaster. I really, really had fun there. And oh my gosh, wait, okay. You know me so well, Leo. I know, don't you just love what I put in the chests? Absolutely, those are like my favorite. I love having those. Okay, so anyways, thank you for showing me this, Leo. Are you ready to see my giant roller coaster? Boy, am I, I've been looking forward to this all day. Uh, I just hope it's not super tall though. I get so scared of heights. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not. Anyways, Leo, let's just go ahead and head over. All right, I'm on my way. All right, Leo, uh, don't look now, but uh, I kind of have a really tall track to your right. Oh, what? A really tall track to my right? Oh, no, surely it's not true. Oh, my gosh. Benji, I can't look. I can't look. Oh, my gosh. Am I really going to have to do that? You know, I, I kind of uh, forgive me, Leo, but I, I really think that you could conquer your fear today. I, I really wanted you to do that. And as your bro, I think that this is going to be a healthy experience. OK, just trust me. Trust your bro. All right, Benji. All right, trust me. I'm I'm the pro here, and I, 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 this is just what I thought was good for your fear. We're gonna conquer it today, right, Leo? Oh, you know I, oh, I guess you're right. I, uh, you are. You're always right, Benji. You know what? I'll give it a go. This is for you. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, this looks so crazy. Okay, you know what, Benji? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm actually having some fun right now. Oh, I'm going so quick up this thing. It's not like painfully slow like the, all the other rides. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to fall off that track. Oh, I don't want to do that, but, uh, ooh, look at over here. We got some parkour. That's right, Leo. And if you look over there, that's kind of where you need to go. So, uh, just use your judgment and good luck. All right. Just try to make it all the way over there. Oh, look at you. You're going. Uh-huh. No time to waste. Parkour is my specialty. All right. Jump there and then jump over to this one. Oh, good thing that ladder was there. Okay, uh, sorry, Leo. Uh, I'll just respawn you right here. Oh, oh my gosh, that was such a long fall. I didn't realize it was that steep here. Okay, I can definitely make it now. Oh, ladder there. Jump to this one. Oh, and then jump there. Oh, a chest. Okay, what's in here? Oh, a minecart. Okay, what do I do with this, Benji? Okay, do you see this rail right here? Just place it right there. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh. Don't you worry, Leo. I'll respawn you right here on the chest. And you were supposed to right click to get onto the minecart, Leo. That was like why I had you place it there. You just kind of went for it, though. So honestly, I give you credit for that. You OK, that wasn't what I meant by grab the minecart. Oh, then uh, what did you mean, Benji? Well, for one, I, I said get in the minecart. I didn't say grab the minecart. That, that was like your first mistake. Oh, OK. You want me to go in the minecart? OK, that makes much more sense. OK, now I can do it on this try. This is the one that I'm going to pull off completely. Watch this, Benji. <laughs> See, it was that easy. That was like my third try. Third try's a charm, right? That's what they always say. OK, so I just took the lever. Now what do I do, Benji? OK, so now you have to go all the way back. Oh my gosh, I have to go back? Oh no, darn it. I just don't know how to do that so easily though. Uh, okay, I'll jump here and then I'll go back to the chest. Oh, okay, there's ladders down here. I didn't even see those. <laughs> okay, we'll go there and then I'll gotta go over to this just like so. Gotta calculate it. 
and oh. Oh yeah, uh, Leo, you were supposed to turn the trap door down so that way you landed on it. I, I don't think you really thought about that one. Yeah, look at that. See, it's easy peasy. Go over to this one, put it up. Go over to that one, put it back up. And then boom, look at that. We're off to the next block. Jump there, jump there. This is so easy to me. Look at this. Jump over to this one with the trap door up and then put it back down just because why not? Jump over there and maybe I could... Oh, how do I do this, Benji? This is so new to me. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, sorry, Leo. I, I didn't teach you how to do this parkour before. That, that's kind of my fault, but I thought, you know, I might as well see if you could do it on your first try, but... Wait a minute, you just did it. Oh my gosh, I totally did. I guess I'm a natural, born parkour artist. Is that what they call them these days? I don't know. <laughs> I still did it though. Anyways, so what do I do with this lever now that I'm back over here, Benji? Okay, so you see that minecart right there? Place it down like, yep, exactly. And then you get into the minecart like that. Go for it. Okay, you're just going for it. Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, what is that? I'm going into the portals. Ah, okay. Ooh, that was really cool. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh. Did you get out of the minecart, Leo? Come on, man. All right, I'll respawn you though. Don't worry, you'll have to do it one more time. What? So you're saying I get to experience that again? Oh, yippee! But uh, what was that down there, Benji? That looked kind of scary. Don't worry about it, Leo. Just go again and then you'll figure it out as you go. Just like it was the first time. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, that's such a cool section, Benji. You did such a good job on that. Thank you, Leo. That that means a lot to me, bud. I really appreciate it. Whoa, those, those are guests. Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm scared of guests. Um, What do I do, Benji? They're going to attack me. Well, I don't know if you've already seen it. It looks like you opened the chest already, but you got to grab what's in the chest. And then you have to try to shoot them in their mouth or their eyes. Huh, okay, all right, I'm on it. Oh, and Leo, you don't have to worry about them actually attacking you. They're, they're not real gas. I don't know if you, you, you clocked that one yet, but they're, they're not really real gas. Oh, they're not? Oh, no, I didn't even clock that, Benji. Thank you for telling me, though, because now I'm much more relieved. Now I'm just going to get my aim right and... Uh, oh, I totally did it. Oh, where am I going now, Benji? Whoa, is that the mouth of a gas? Oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh, wait, this is cool. Oh, my gosh, is this TNT? I hate TNT. Whoa! Uh, you're going up high, bud, it seems, huh? Yeah, that's an understatement. Whoa, that was really cool, Benji. And I don't even like TNT. All right, so you're at a stop and you have to make a decision, but don't make the wrong one, all right? But I'm just saying, the right side's looking kind of good, right? Am I right? Oh, you're so right. I think I'm going to choose right because we're saying right so much. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and do that. Wait, what is it? Is it right though, Benji? I don't know. Oh, well, <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that? Ah! <laughs> yeah, so about the right side, Leo, I apologize. I, that was the wrong way, ironically. Oh, come on, Benji. Why would you do that to me? You know that I'm super gullible sometimes. I know. I apologize, Leo. Just, but, but now you know that the left way is the right way, and, and we got some entertainment out of it, right? I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Oh, whatever. This is so fun. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I'm going spiraling down so fast. This is so scary. I just, oh, my gosh, the heights. Whoa. This is cool, though. Where am I going now? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. There's so many arrows. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going past them, though. That was kind of cool. It's like, it's like, it's like I'm just watching a movie and I'm not even getting scathed. Honestly, yeah, that, that was a really easy section. <laughs> it went way better than I thought it was going to go for you. I'm not going to lie, Leo. What? <laughs> oh, sorry, Leo. I should have warned you about that section there. You think so? <laughs> I just kind of drowned without even realizing. Okay, oh, what is this? Okay, so now you have to make another decision, and one's going to be a very similar experience to the past one, and the other one's going to be the right one, but uh, which one do you think it is? Um, clearly it's this one. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, no, that, that wasn't the right one. Leo, come on, you know you have to subscribe. That's just how we do things here. Come on. Subscribe or get ravagered. Oh, yeah, darn it. I totally forgot. That's like the golden rule. Oh, but it's okay. I'm going to make the right decision now, okay? Second time, I'm going to get it right. That's right. That's one way to look at it, Leo. I mean, you know, second chances. This is this, Everyone gets second chances. Everyone deserves a second chance. So, all right, you can go ahead and press the button. Okay. Whoa. 
That was so cool! Oh my goodness, guys! Now you have to subscribe! Who knows how long that took Benji to make? But that was extravagant! Oh my gosh, I just wish I could see it one more time! If you guys want to watch it one more time, though, you could rewind the video and just watch it one more time, but that's totally up to you. That's right, what Leo said. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you enjoyed. But, oh, hold on, Leo. You're not done yet. You have to see your finish room. Oh, that's right. I'm already ahead of you. I've been waiting for this all day. <laughs> Well, I think you're gonna enjoy it because you've been liking the huts recently, and if you look at it... Oh my gosh, it's a hut! And it says finish! Oh my gosh! <sighs> See, guys, I told you he wouldn't notice the eye at the end there. Huh? What was that? Nothing, Leo. Just, just, don't you like what's in the chest? Oh my gosh, I love it! You know I love gold, and now I have tons of bars of it! This is so cool! I'm so glad you like it, Leo, and honestly, did you enjoy the ride today? Were you scared of it? No, I totally conquered my fear. That was so much fun. Yes, that's what I like to hear, Leo. I'm so glad that I could conquer your fear today with you. That was really awesome. Hi, Leo. Hi, Benji. Today, we're going to be doing the Ultra Tunnel Build Challenge, and we both have 15 minutes to build our tunnels, and whoever builds the best tunnel wins. Oh, man. I'm totally going to win. <laughs> well, we'll see, Leo. Which color do you want to be? Purple, huh? Uh, ew, no, purple is the worst. I choose yellow. <laughs> well, I thought so. Good luck, okay? I can't wait to beat you. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll see. <laughs> we sure will, bud. We sure will. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started on our build here. We got the block of iron. Right now, I'm building it up kind of tall, so that way I can select it like that. Go over here to the other side of the corner, and then we're going to build a pillar that's Basically the exact same. Connect the dots, so to speak. Boom! There you go. This is perfect for what we need. So right here, we have an entrance, and we're gonna have him walk in, and this is basically where our parkour section is gonna be at. Now that we have our walls, we can get our lava floor, which is gonna be a very critical point because that is the fear factor here for Mr. Leo. So this is perfect. Right here, we're gonna make these perfect platforms for him to jump on. All right, so now that we got a couple of platforms going on, we're gonna get these iron fences. And basically these iron fences are gonna be great because for this section, this is when things start to elevate for our man Leo. And basically now we're gonna delete these blocks and put just iron bars so that way when he comes over here it starts to feel a little bit more difficult. All right, the fences are done and now it's time for our pillar. We're gonna go ahead and build it up here. Just give me one moment. Boom! Now we have our pillar. And now that we've upped the ante a little bit, it's time to add to the next section of our parkour course. Jump over here. Now, guys, we're gonna go ahead and grab some ladders to put onto this wall right here for our boy Leo. And all he has to do is jump right here onto these ladders and make it across to this platform right here. Simple enough, I think. You know, whether or not he lands in the lava is on him, that's his business. I just work here, okay? And we're gonna have another ladder section that he'll have to jump onto, almost like a little bit of a leap of faith. Once he gets down to the bottom of this block, like this, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do a little demonstration. Go down the ladder like I got somewhere to be, put down a little block right there, right there. And then I think this will be a good distance. He'll have to jump to this next platform without any ladders. He'll have to go around this platform. Now this one's gonna have ladders on it. And once this one has the ladders on it, now he's going to travel back up and this is, of course, where we start up in the ante again one more time. Now, whether or not Leo can find the way to get across this is on him. He does love parkour, and he always tells me he wants to get better. I strategically left the lava cut off here at the end because I wanted to add some sort of landing thing, but we'll figure that out in a second. And I was thinking if we put it right here, we could have a infinite water source landing pile. Personally, guys, I'm doing him a solid because I could have been a one by one. I could have been a worse guy than that. And before I go ahead and give this a test run, I wanted to add a good old aesthetic wall before he jumps into the four by four block of water. Jump here, jump there. Perfect. Bada boom, bada bang. Obviously, he'll be able to just fly up like that exactly the same way. Not really, but I digress. Because as you can see, everything here works perfectly and just ignore the fact that I missed the water and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna work on the next room. All right, and this next room's gonna be really cool. Not parkour this time, guys. Do a little bit of world edits. We can have a nice introduction here to the next room. 
this is where the door is going to be. And this is going to be the puzzle room. This is going to be a true test of our friend Leo here's mind. Because although he is a noob, he's not the dumbest cookie I've ever met. All right. I believe in him. I think that he could do it. Oh, who am I kidding? This is going to be impossible for him. Oh, well. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and build the walls like we did the first time. Go down to the other corner. Make a lock with the world edit. Make sure the block is iron blocks. There you go. And we got to open up our hole here again for our door. But the door is going to be cool because the door is actually going to be locked. And in order for Leo to make it through this door that we're going to be building, he's going to have to figure out a four color code. Add our nice key panel right here so that way it looks official. Orange is going to be the first digit. Red is going to be the last one. Leo will have to count all of the colored blocks from the room, including the ones that show the order. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some colored blocks around the room and we're going to spend some time counting the blocks ourselves. That way we can make sure that we get it right. So that way when Leo goes to do it, obviously I'm not messing him up. He's going to be able to actually figure it out. Guys, I'm not giving him a wild goose chase here. I promise. Awesome. We just finished putting up all of the blocks. So that way Leo's going to be very, very, very confused. One can only hope. But now we can figure out the code, which is going to be 4887. Jay, I hope you didn't hear me. Benji, did you say something about me again? Nothing, Leo. Keep working. Gosh. Sorry about that, guys. Jeez, it makes me worried about what he's working on over there. But looks like we got it finished and we can go ahead and work on our next room. You're gonna love this. I went ahead and got the world edit out of the way, so that way you guys didn't have to painfully watch me build it up once more. We've already done it twice. There's no need to do it more than that. So, this room's gonna be fun. I wanted to build a maze for Leo. Hmm, how about some gold? You can't go wrong with some gold blocks. Good old contrast with the iron, I would say, huh? All right, yes, this is perfect. I'm definitely gonna use that. Put down this block right here. We'll get a little bit of a world built here for our guy, Leo. All right, so you guys know how mazes work. There isn't only just one path that leads you to victory. You have to go through the trials and tribulations. Right now, I'm gonna be adding wrong paths and right paths. That way, whenever Leo goes through it, he's gonna have a little bit of a hard time. It's not gonna be just that simple for him. I can't just make it easy mode. This is something he's gonna have to work for. Guys, leave a comment. Do you think that Leo's gonna be able to pass through all of these obstacles that I'm making for him today? I mean, I know that he's not that smart, but maybe you guys could see something that I don't. That's what I want to find out. So just let me know in the comments down below and we'll figure it out. All right. Alrighty, guys, it looks like the maze is pretty much done. Now, the only finishing touch we need to do is to raise up the blocks high enough to where Leo can't see over it to cheat. That's the one main thing, because if he cheats, the whole thing's a bust. So we got to make sure that it's set in stone. Literally. Da 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 da. All right, now that this maze is done, it's time for the next room. Here we are going through the other room into the maze room once more. I'm going to add an iron door so that way I can get him to walk into the other room with a lever. We don't want him to walk in there straight up just with like no redstone. And give me just a second. I'm going to start building these walls really fast and then we'll be right back to show you more. And boom. All right, guys, we built the walls right here. It's for our future build. Trust me. Trust the process, everybody. Now. If I go over here, go into my search, I'll go ahead and grab a chest, place it down right there, open it up, look for his tool because he's going to need something to kill off those mobs with. I'm thinking an iron sword's going to be just fine for our friend Leo. Not too weak, not too strong. Am I right? However, after he grabs the iron sword, that's not where his journey ends. There's going to be quite a bit more trials and tribulations he'll have to face. Once he opens this lever, it's going to turn into a little bit of a tunnel that I'm going to add right here, like so, and there. Now we're going to dig down, and I have this gold block in my hand because it's going to be used for a redstone contraption, and as you know, gold conducts high amounts of the electricity to flow the redstone much better, so that's why we're using gold. So give me just a moment to finish this build, and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, we're not done just yet, but I thought I would show you a little bit of how it would work before I get all of the mobs going. So basically, you see all four of these dispensers on the sides that I've put, and then I got all of the redstone connected to them. When he walks in, all of the mobs are gonna spawn off of this pressure plate from the dispensers. But right now, they're just redstone blocks. Uh, Cause, obviously, I don't wanna get mobbed, but we're gonna save that one for Leo. 
Speaking of mobs, though, I think it's about time that we add them into the dispensers. Naturally, it has to be skeletons and zombies. Those are like the Minecraft classic right there. If you're not fighting skeletons and zombies, you're not fighting at all. Am I right? We're going to add this item frame onto the wall as well because we want him to have a little bit of an advantage. Only if he can find it, though. If he doesn't look at the item frame to find that he has a shield right there, then that's tough luck for buddy old pal, okay? We can't let him not know that it's existing, but it's... It's on him whether or not he uses it or not. It's it's in the line of sight. So if he doesn't turn around, my hands are up. Okay, and one more thing we got to make before we go on to the next room. It's very important. And I want to make sure he can do this. Because if he can't do this, he can't do the next part. One more test. One plus one. Can he do it? One plus one. I, I know, this is going to be the easiest thing ever, but guys, I swear to you, this is going to be the one thing that he fails at, and it's going to be so funny, because it's obviously two, but we'll see if Leo can do it, because if he puts in two, we'll go into the next room, and we have something really cool planned. All right, now it's time to go on to the next room, and we're going to start our build now. It's going to be sick. Oh, Benji! Oh, God, what is it? What do you want? I just wanted to find out how's it going. Oh, it's going good. It's going good. Everything's everything's fine. Oh, good. Yeah, everything's going great over here as well. I just wanted to let you know one little detail that uh, I'm like really scared of TNT. So I just hope that you don't add that into your place. OK. Oh, uh, uh, yes, I will definitely not add TNT to my build. I swear. OK. All right, Leo. I'll see you soon. OK, bud. All right, Benji, I trust you. You're so kind to me. <laughs> OK, well, what he doesn't know is that I'm actually building a TNT run right now, so he'll be happily surprised later on, I'm sure. But uh, let's just hope that he doesn't hear me building it, because I know that he'll get on to me about it. As we have here, we have our build getting right along. Our build's going to have a block in between where the TNT is going to be hanging off of. And then when he steps on it, it will fall to the ground. But everything on the ground is non-existent right now. As you can see, it's just a void. So if I fall from flying, it's over for me. And the same goes for Leo. If he falls from these jumps, he will die. However, this won't be just simple parkour jumps as I explained earlier. It's parkour with a twist. If he jumps on the wrong block, it'll fall. So underneath each block is going to be TNT. That's how this is going to work. And on top of it, it's going to be gravel and a pressure plate. So if you step on the gravel and the pressure plate, everything's falling. If Leo jumps on the wrong block, the TNT will activate and Leo will fall. So I wish him luck. Let's hope he can do it, guys. Since we are disguising all of them with gravel blocks on top of it, that's going to make it a little bit challenging. And obviously right now, if you just look underneath the blocks, you're going to see that the ones with the iron blocks underneath them are the safe ones to go on. But that would just be too easy. So now what we're going to do is add some trap doors here on the sides so you can't see through it. Just one second. We're going to finish all these placements and I'll be right back. And there we go, guys. Wow, would you look at that? They all look really good. This is the final stretch. If he can just jump down here, land into this pit that I'm going to build right here, he wins. And, and, and it's that easy. I believe in you, Leo. And here before your eyes, we have the utopia if he wins the game. It's going to be pretty cool if he wins. I would be pretty proud of him. If I'm going to be proud, I think I'm going to fill this chest with something meaningful. We'll tell him, good job. We'll tell him, claim your reward. And inside the chest, I was thinking we add some diamonds, gold, and emeralds. He'll appreciate all those. I know Leo, guys. Trust me. He'll love this. Awesome. The chest is filled up. And I think we add in a netherite sword for a bonus. I think he's earned that if he gets this far. And now it's time to add something a little bit brighter than my future. Glowstone. We're going to add some of that to the ceiling and make sure that when he walks in here, it's well lit up and it feels grand. We want him to feel like he just, we want him to feel like the man. Oh, but we're not done there. Now it's time to add some gold blocks along this lining. Make sure it looks royal. It's grand and royal. Because if he's going to feel like the man, it's got to look like it's built for the man. And there we go. That looks really good. I, I'm honestly really surprised at how this turned out. But now I'm going to go check out everything at the front. Make sure everything's all good. Uh, I think the entrance could use a little bit more security. We'll add some barbed wire and maybe some decoration around it. Nobody can infiltrate this now. Maybe not even Leo. Oh god, maybe I made it too good. Oh well. We'll just have to find out now, won't we? And there, done. I should double check everything to make sure it all looks good. And then, it's time to check in with Leo. I'm curious what that guy's been doing over there. 
All right, Leo, the time is up. I hope you're ready. Oh, come on, Benji. You know me better than that. Of course I'm ready. <laughs> All right, well, here I come. We're going to go check out what you got. What the heck is this? This is just dirt. I don't want dirt. Uh, I'm going to toss this. All right, I, I don't need this. Oh, uh, that, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Listen, if we go in there, listen, it's it's super secure right now, uh, as you can see, <laughs> but check it out. Isn't that cool? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna probably die from the lava. Uh, I don't know what you're expecting me to do here, but all right, let's go. Uh, looks like some very basic parkour. Uh, I'll just jump here. Oh, man. Benji, that's looking so good. Oh, man. Okay, so you made it to this room. Now, just look around you, right? You see all of these buttons. So one of these buttons opens the door over there. So basically, find the right button and things will be good. Which button is it? Uh, not those, not that. This, that, no, not there. No, no, no. Is one of these gonna kill me? I sure hope not. Uh, this, this, no, no, no. <gasps> oh my God, there it is. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting some there. Leo, I think this is it. My own dirt bike? This is awesome. Uh, but I don't know how to drive it. See, that's okay, because Benji, I made this super simple for you. All you have to do is press the gas, go forward, and just don't die. All right, uh, I guess I'll give it a go. Uh, uh, Leo, this, this thing isn't starting. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so do I just go forward here on this track? Is, is that kind of what you want me to do? Yes, that's perfect. Uh, uh, do you have to ride with me on this? I mean, isn't that going to make it harder for me? Oh, God. This is so scary. I, I mean, I'm impressed. This is this is kind of scary. Yes, you're absolutely killing it. Keep going. This is awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. You know, honestly, I I'm very impressed with you, Leo. That was really good. Good job. Oh, thank you. Oh man, I'm just so excited for you. This part, you're gonna love. So don't get lost, but I made a dirt maze for you and one way is the right way and one way is the wrong way. So if you choose one way, it's not gonna be right. If you choose the wrong way, you know, you'll be stuck there for a while. So you just need to find the right way. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya, I hear ya. Come on, Leo, you know me. I'm gonna find this in no time. No sweat, I'm a pro. Okay, but but honestly, I'm a little lost right now. Okay, you made this pretty good. I, I I'm I honestly I'm looking at all this dirt and it's making me a little queasy right now. I see all these gray dots and I'm I'm getting a little freaked out. Don't worry, Benji. I know you can do it. It's not that huge. Okay, I promise you. Just find the exit and everything will be better. You know how it works here. Come on. Oh my gosh, I found the exit. Yes, Leo. Oh my goodness, you did! You found the exit! Good job! Oh my goodness! So now, this next part for you, it's gonna be kind of funny. Maybe a little bit painful, but mostly funny. So basically, you just want to open a door and make sure that you find the right one. Because if you don't, you'll uh, feel a little bit of something. <laughs> Anyways, give it a go, Benji. Alright. Oh my god. A skeleton? Are you serious, Leo? I could get shot by that. Well, uh, yeah, that's kind of the whole point. That's why I put it there. Okay, well, uh, whoa, just fire. Oh, my God. Uh, what the? I'm on fire, Leo. What am I supposed to do? You'll be fine. See, it's already worn off. You're fine. Just eat that steak right there for you. That's why I gave them to you. All right, whatever. At least I know this is the right door. What? Oh, great. Leo, what is this? Well, I'm just so glad that you asked. So basically, you want to walk towards that chest. And if you walk towards the chest, you're going to have to step on these pressure plates. And while you do that, mobs are going to spawn on certain ones. And uh, let's just say you want to get to that chest. Because if you don't, things are going to get really difficult for you really quickly. Oh, my God. It's already happening, Leo. How many zombie spawns did you put in this thing? Oh, my God. You know what, though? I have this diamond sword. I can defend myself. Oh my gosh, I'm on two I'm on two hearts. I need to eat this steak. Oh, 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 the treasure room. Okay, look at that. Yeah, look at that. You found the treasure room. Now you just have to kill all the mobs and you'll be good. And then you can actually get the treasure. <laughs> but uh, good luck. So far, you should probably be fine because uh, I didn't really think this through. They all just kind of burned in the sun. Huh. Good job, Benji. It looks like you did it. Oh my goodness, I, I, I actually did. And now I'm balling. Look at all these diamonds. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Good job, Leo. I'm proud of you. But now you know what time it is. That means it's time for you to see mine. 
Oh, yes, I'm so excited to see that one. All right, Benji, I'm ready whenever you are. All right, let's go then. Oh, I just know this is going to be so cool. Okay, Leo, now this is what I built. Isn't that what you dreamed of? Benji, this, no way you did this in 15 minutes. This is so cool. Well, you know, I am a pro. Uh, oh, what is this barbed wire doing here? Uh, how am I supposed to get in? Benji, show me how to do it. No, you got it. See, look at that. Oh, uh, I guess I did. I guess I did do it. Okay, so uh, is this where it starts? Whoa, this is so cool. Um, So I'm guessing this is the parkour section, huh? It's all right. All right? What are you talking about? This is so much better than yours. <laughs> I'm kidding, Benji. Gosh, this is awesome. I can't wait to do this. All right, so all you have to do is jump across and get to the other side. Eh. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm already starved after that one jump. Uh, Benji, this is awesome. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Thin fences, nothing I haven't seen before. One, two, three, walk around on the street. Mm -mm. Woo. Yeah, okay, I like this, Benji. This is a cool pillar I like right here. Ooh, longer jump. Oh no! Ah! Oh no, Leo, you were doing so good. Oh. It's okay, don't worry. When you die here, you don't actually die forever. You can respawn, and we can start you back off right where you left off. There you go. Oh, oh my goodness, thank the Lord. I thought I was gone forever. Benji, don't let that happen ever again. Well, it's not up to me. Leo, you just have to make it across the parkour. You're right. I can do this. Those, those ladders, by the way? That? I just did that without thinking. That was kind of awesome. Now I'm going to travel down this one. Jump. Oh, ah! Leo, don't worry. It's fine. You, you can just respawn right here. I got you. Oh, I know, but it still hurts. Uh, ah, my legs. Leo, stop being so dramatic. What do you mean dramatic? There's lava underneath me and I just fell and broke my legs. But I'm still going though. I'm going to make it all the way to the end, Benji. I just know I can do it. Um, So now I have to jump on these ladders. Oh, I've always wanted to get better at this parkour, Benji. Thank you for adding this. Let's see if I can do it. So far, so good, Leo. Wow, lo look at you. You're actually you're actually doing really well on that. There's no way you did that on your first try. Good job, Leo. I'm, I'm actually really proud of you. You died twice, but that wasn't the easiest parkour the world's ever seen. It wasn't the hardest, but it wasn't the easiest either. So now, check out this room. Um, <laughs> wow. It, I mean, it, it kind of looks cool. It, it reminds me a bit of an insane asylum, though, Benji. I, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Leo, that's not the point. Th this is this is a puzzle room. It has nothing to do with parkour like the last one. That's the whole point. So check this out right here. This is a code that you have to figure out. And I actually have a whole puzzle in here for you to figure out. So if you can figure it out, this code right here, you'll have to type it in and the door will open for you. But then you have to walk through the door before the door closes or else you have to type in the code again. So don't let that happen, all right? Um, I guess, okay. Um, I I kind of understood a thing you just said right there, but uh, I see blocks all over the place and I see some right in front of me. So maybe that's what I have to do. I, I think that's it. Leo, I literally just told you what you had to do. You have to find the pieces and correlate them to the colors. And if you can get the right amount of the numbers, that's going to give you the code to unlock the puzzle for the next room. Oh, OK. Yeah, that that makes a lot more sense. Um, I'm going to do that right now. And I, honestly, I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I think I got a flow going here. I, I figured it out before you really said that. I just I just wanted to hear it from you because then then it sounds more official. God, why do I even speak sometimes, Leo? I swear. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Ugh, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Funny, haha, but figure it out, Leo. We got a video to move on with here, okay? Oh, I know. Just give me a second. I'll figure it out in two minutes flat. Give me just one second. I know you got this. You're intelligent. I just, I'm getting a little impatient, okay? That's on me. That's my fault. It's okay, Benji. I forgive you. But also, while you were doing that, I actually figured out the code. 4887. Oh my god. Wait, you actually did that? What? I'm proud of you, Leo. Good job. That was really awesome. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> So, uh, what am I looking at? Well, I'm actually really glad that you asked, Leo, because you know how you had me go through a maze? Yeah, I got a maze for you, and uh, what are you doing? You're just going right in. All right, 
So basically, there's going to be twists and turns and ups and downs, maybe not ups and downs, but you'll figure it out because unlike yours, yours was all dirt and I was seeing gravel and little bits and pieces in between the core of the dirt and it was really scary. This one's just going to make you go a little bit insane because everything's shiny and reflective. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, Benji. I'm trying to figure it out, okay? I'm not getting scared like you did. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Are you sure about that? Yeah, totally. Look, if I take this left turn right here, I'm going to exit. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that was the other way, <laughs> but uh, it's this way. I have a... Oh, there you are, Benji. I knew I could do it. I did that so easily. I knew I could do it. Oh, so uh, do I just press this lever? Okay, yeah, so now that you did that, we're going to go into the next room, and this is where things start to get really exciting for you. So you know how you had me fight mobs? Well, there you go. I got the same setup for you, but mine's a little bit different. Oh, I'm excited. I actually wanted to fight my own mobs, but I had to let you do it because that's, you know, that was the whole point, but uh, I'm ready. Where are they? I'll fight them right now. I'll kill them all. Whoa, 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 Leo, calm down. Okay, go in there and then you'll see. Um, I don't see. Ah! I just got shot. Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting hurt, Benji, help. Oh no. It just took me a couple of trial runs. Oh my gosh. That's the spirit, Leo. You're figuring it out. You're right there. You're already in the middle of the round. You just got to keep it going. I promise you this will get a lot easier. Okay. All right. Okay. So I made it to the second platform. Where do I go now? Benji, please. Oh, oh I made it. This one didn't fall. I'm right there. I know I can make it to the next one. Oh man, Leo, you were right there. I mean, just one more move. You would have made it to the end. And it should be pretty obvious now at this point, which one it is. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm on my way to there. I just took a couple of deaths. It's fine. I felt the pain every single time, but uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Let's go. <laughs> I did it, Benji. Oh, but I don't know if I could do more. I just, I'm so tired after all those tests. Well, don't you worry, Leo, because that was the end. You actually won. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait. <gasps> This looks so cool, Benji. Oh my gosh, did you make this for me? I have a whole swimming pool to myself and I get a grand entrance. <gasps> yep, and even you got that double chest right there. Go ahead and check it out. Whoa, I get emeralds, gold, and diamonds. Oh my goodness, Benji, this is so awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. I can't even stop spinning. Oh, maybe I can for a second. I'm a little bit dizzy. Oh man. But, uh, wow, Benji, that was such an awesome build. Good job. Thank you, Leo. Wow, I, I, that means a lot. Thank you. And you know what? For the credit that it's worth, I really enjoyed yours too, Leo. You did? Oh my gosh, thank you. That means so much to me. Hi, Leo. Hi, Benji. Today, we're going to be doing the Garden of Ban Ban One Color Challenge. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> me too. So, Leo, do you want to choose the purple side or the yellow side? Oh, come on, Benji. You know that I have to go on the yellow side. I love it over here. There's just no other area that I'd want to go to. You took the words right out of my mouth because I didn't want to go on the yellow side. I personally am a purple guy. All right, Benji, I'm going to go ahead and get started, but I'm just going to say good luck because this is going to be the best build that I've ever done. So don't even get intimidated, but I'm just saying good luck. Right back at you, Leo, and I'm going to say the same to you because this is my favorite color, so I'm not going to hold back. 15 minutes starts now. All right, you're on. All right, so it's time to get started with our build. We're going to go ahead and build the base of the statue. We're going to have feet, legs, body, teeth, eyes, arms, you name it. Everything that you could imagine from a statue, I'm going to have. And I'm going to be building my favorite monster from the game, Captain Fiddles. He's purple, so of course he's my favorite. But give me a second, and I'm going to go ahead and work on the first foot. Da 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 place a block here. Okay, place a block there. And one more there, and... Boom! Look at that, guys. Okay, so now we have our base of our foot, and this is going to be the start of our secret entrance. But hold on. Before I start the secret entrance, I'm going to build the other foot. Give me just one second. I'll be right back. Let me put a couple of these white blocks here, and... Dun, dun, dun. And would you look at that? So those right there are the teeth, and I actually got a little bit more than just the legs done. We're getting some more progress on the upper body, so I'll get to the rest of it right now. 
Dun, 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 and here we go, guys, putting the last blocks down, and boom, Captain Fiddles. I think he looks pretty much exactly like him, if I do say so myself. A little blocky, but exactly the same nonetheless. All right, and now that it's all done, though, it's time to add the secret entrance. And I'm not just thinking about adding any kind of door for the secret entrance. I'm thinking a trap door. And also, you have to crawl underneath to get inside, because if it wasn't crawling, then it wouldn't really be that secret, now would it? And on top of that, it's a purple trap door. I mean, what more could you ask for? But right now, we're gonna add this chest in here, and you can already guess what we're putting in here with the sword. Uh, we're gonna add some mobs. He's gonna have to fight off the mobs with this sword that I'm providing for him, and then he can move on to the next section. Spawn a couple of the zombies in. Oh, <laughs> he is not gonna like this. Benji, I hear some gurgling over there. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing, Leo. I'm just, I'm using mouthwash. My breath started to smell bad. You know, I, I, I have a date later, remember? Oh my gosh, that actually went through? <coughs> yeah, it, it did. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Benji. Well, good luck on that later and hope that breath smells good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope it does too. All right, good luck with your build, Leo. Thank you. <laughs> Likewise to you. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh man, I thought I just, uh... Revealed something right there, but don't worry guys. We're all in the clear. Oh, and what you just saw me building right there was trapdoor parkour for Leo So basically in order for him to get all the way past that He's going to have to flip the trapdoors up and down to see which one he can jump to perfectly And the ones that I added at the bottom were normal doors that was just to throw him off So don't even worry about those <laughs> He might though. Oh well However, as we go up here, we're now in the body, so this is gonna be a completely different section, let me explain. It's not too different, but I put down some soul sand right here, so that way when he walks on it, he's gonna feel a little bit slow. He's gonna feel like he's molasses dripping from one of those cane things. I don't really know what they're called, but I'm pro in Minecraft, not in the real world, so let me just say that. Anywho, we're gonna build this platform right here after he goes to the soul sand, but I'm not really sure what to do with it yet. Uh, give me a second, I'll figure it out. Hmm. Oh, I totally know what to do. Okay, so we're gonna just troll him a little bit. Come on, it's not gonna be a video without a little bit of a trolling. Come on. And Leo's a good spirit. He will totally get over this. So basically, the last block of the soul sand that he has to go and jump to, he's blocked off. So he's gonna have to jump around the sides in order to make it to where he needs to go. So Leo is supposed to land up here, and this is actually the right spot. But this lava in the other area is the other leg. And if he falls in there, he's gonna die. And he might just try it out because he might think it's the only place to go. But in reality, there's gonna be another place to go. So hopefully he chooses the right way. However, right here, as you see, I added a couple of fence wall jumps, and that's gonna lead us into the next upper part of the body. Then I think I'm gonna add some fence doors. Gotta add a couple of them close by or else he'll fall right through them. So I gotta make it fair for Leo. We can't make it impossible. However, if he does accidentally right click on him, he's gonna fall through because then they're gonna be open and it's gonna be a whole thing and I'm gonna have to close it, yada yada, but I think he can handle it. But it wouldn't be a me build if I didn't add some open. So we're just gonna open a few. So good luck, Leo. We'll see what you do. Now, after that, I think I'm gonna start making a way up for Leo because he's gonna have to make his way up this thing eventually. So, once I do that, uh, I'm gonna block off some different paths around the statue's edge and try to make sure that Leo doesn't cheese it. I hope I won't miss any cheese holes. This thing's a big statue, so I don't have too much time to check, but, you know, hopefully I don't miss anything. I have a big build going on, so, you know, we'll see. So, on this last jump right here, we have a fence block, and then on top of it, we have a fence gate, and then he's gonna have to open that in order to jump to the next spot that he's trying to get to. Otherwise, it just won't work the same. And if you can't already tell what I'm building, I'm building a path for Leo to walk into after he completes all that parkour down there. And he's gonna have three paths to choose from, and only one of them is gonna be the right path. So, hopefully he chooses the right one, otherwise he's gonna meet his demise. So, for the choices, we're gonna have purple wool, yellow wool, and lime wool. And if you couldn't already tell, I mean, it's self-explanatory, guys. Which one do you think is right? If he said purple, that was the correct choice, because, I mean, just look around, everything else is purple, That it was clearly the choice. Hopefully he realizes that, though, otherwise he's not going to be a happy camper, but I'm sure he will. I'll tell you what, though, if you hit subscribe right now and hit that bell notification, it ups the chances of Leo making the right decision, so if you really want Leo to make the right decision, you know what to do. Anywho, we're going to build up to the next section. Now that that staircase is finished, I'm going to go ahead and build into the next area. But before I do that, I want to add a ceiling. All right. 
Now that that ceiling's been added, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hide the way up with the ghost blocks. Just to do a little bit of a trolling. I think that's a good tasteful thing to do with my build. What do you think? However, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of a troll. I'm gonna add a little lava trap over here inside the ghost blocks and then, you know, hopefully he doesn't fall for it. There, there's no way he'd fall for that, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Sorry, Leo. And there. So technically that doesn't count as a cheese block because it's covered visually. It's just not physically, but he can't get through that unless he crawls, but hopefully he doesn't do that. All right. Anywho, on to the next section. So in this section, I'm going to have two rooms and in order to do that, I'm going to need an additional wall. So let me build that real quick. So right now I'm on top of the arm and in this room, we're going to need two sections. So I'm going to make a little wall to divide it. All right. Now that that's done in this place that I divided, I'm thinking I'm going to add some fences because he's going to be wanting a break at this point and I don't really know what else to add here. So congratulations, Leo. You get a little bit of a breather, but just know there's going to be a lot more harder things coming your way, buddy. So get ready. So after those fences and he makes it through that, I decided he's going to have to walk through some lava. But we're not going to make it all lava. We'll do half real lava and half fake lava. So he can either choose to jump across and land in just the fake lava or just walk through it. Either way, I'm sure he'll be fine. After that lava, I'm going to add some hidden wall parkour for him. So basically, there's going to be an open hole that he can go through. And if he goes through it, he can make it to the next section. Right there, and then right there, and there. Okay, perfect, and he should be totally able to figure that out, right? Yeah, we'll see. For this next section, don't mind me, I'm gonna just take one second, we're gonna add some redstone and pressure plates, yada yada, and I'll explain it in just a second, hold on. Okay, and now looking at our little contraption here, we got a ton of redstone behind the scenes, don't even worry about that. But basically, if me, Leo, or any type of mob steps on a pressure plate right here, it'll spawn more and more and more and more silverfish on there. So, basically, you do not want to step on that, but he's going to, because once he steps on it once, it's going to spawn more silverfish, and then the other silverfish are going to step on the pressure plates and spawn more silverfish, and it's just going to be really funny. So, we'll see it in a little while. I hope he doesn't choose to fight them, because if he does, he's definitely going to die over and over again. He needs to jump onto these other platforms in order to escape them, so if he can do that, he can escape them, and it'll all be good, hopefully. Once he lands onto those blocks from safety from all of those silverfish, this is going to lead into slime jump parkour, where Leo is going to have to land four slime jumps in a row. And if he can do that, there's going to be a path that leads into a small tunnel that'll lead him into the final room. In this final room, I'm going to add a boat. All right. And then I'm going to add a sign that tells Leo to go down. For what? I'll tell you in just a second. All right. So basically, if Leo doesn't take that boat down with him, he's going to be in some big trouble. And I mean... You know, the type of trouble that leaves you dead, burning, and maybe a little bit scarred. So hopefully he does take the boat, because I know he just does not want that. The last time I heard him having scar issues, it just was not a fun conversation. Anywho, he'll have to take the boat all the way across to the lava, and then he has to jump across a few more slime blocks, and then that's the end. Congratulations if you make it that far, Leo. Now, Leo, I know that gold is your favorite block, so I figured I'd make you feel like a king and then build your treasure room out of gold blocks, because I know that's how you'd want it. Okay, now that I have the chest there, I'm going to add a little bit of pizzazz and add some of these gold bars. Now he really looks like a king. This, you thought it was royalty, and then I added the gold bars, and now you're like, whoa, what's going on? This is crazy. So, I think that he'll love this. I don't know about you guys, but I have a good feeling about it. Cannot forget, add this entire chest filled with the prize of gold blocks. And then we'll do the same for the other one, but this time we're going to add some diamonds. Because he does love gold, but who doesn't love a little bit of diamonds too? Come on now. And why stop there? Let's give him a block that he doesn't see very often. A block of netherite. Now that, that is a hard block to get. He will appreciate that. All right, and that's it. Built for a king. You know how I do it out here with these treasure rooms. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot something brighter than my future. Glowstone. Now, if I didn't add this, it wouldn't have felt just as royal. <laughs> Tell me that does not look better. All right, now it's time to go check up on Leo. Oh, Leo. Yeah, Benji? How's it going over there? We have like 15 seconds left. I hope you're done. Oh, of course I'm done. And also, I finished a little bit earlier ago. I just didn't really know how to tell you. I just wanted to give you more time, but uh, you can actually go ahead and come over. All right, here I come. Whoa, Leo, you built that? That's a really good looking Stinger Flynn. You did a great job. It, it looks so cool. 
You really like it? Oh, let me just tell you, I was inspired because I went fishing the other day and I caught this really cool looking fish. But uh, I wasn't really sure what to call it or what it was, so uh, this was like my interpretation of it and of course I made it yellow. Naturally, Leo, I would not expect any other color from you. This is like your thing. I love yellow when you do it. It's actually really cool. Oh, thank you. That means so much to me. So uh, you can go ahead and get started. And if you go through there, you have to find the entrance and it's hidden. Uh, oh, did you already find it? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess I stumbled upon it. I didn't really mean to, but here I am. So, okay, I see some levers, a pressure plate, and three colors. And I see a sign. So what does that say? Let me see here. Uh, okay. Maybe I just choose one without looking at the sign. You know what? I don't really feel like reading. Purple is my favorite color. Whoa, what did I hear down there, Leo? Um, I don't know. I think uh, you're just hearing things. I don't know. I think uh, it might be safe. That's why it sizzled like that. Uh, that's how you know it's good. Leo, those rules only apply to the grill. I don't want to become some sizzling piece of meat. Oh, come on. I mean, well, yeah, I guess you're right. But when you put it like that, it sounds really bad and kind of weird. I know. I just, that's the point. I wanted to put it into perspective for you, but don't even worry about it. Do I figure it out? I, I need to figure it out. All right. Don't, don't worry about it. All right. Is it that button? No. Is it that button? No, not really. Do I jump up? Here? Whoa. Okay. I found some invisible blocks. It eh, doesn't seem to lead anywhere though. No, not quite. So is it over here maybe or... No, no, that was the entrance. That's why I'm getting confused. Okay, maybe I go back here on this wall. Maybe I missed something. No, not quite. Maybe I do have to go down here. Wait, what did I just stand on right there? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wait, this is fake lava? You totally got me with that, Leo. <laughs> I knew that I would. See, you were saying the stuff was sizzling and I wasn't sure if I should tell you or not because... You used your stake to your advantage. I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Quick thinking, Leo. Thank you, thank you. You know, I, I'd like to think that I know my lava at this point, you know? <laughs> That's true. It's kind of like your thing at this point, isn't it? Yes, it is. I, I love looking at lava. Speaking of which, I'm looking at lava right now. Hey, stop using your stake like that. Hey, you gave it to me. I'm just using my resources, okay? Oh, man. I guess you're right. It's all good. Keep doing what you do. All right, here we go. Ooh, that one was a fake. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe it wasn't. I just missed it. Uh, but this one's definitely real. All right. Now I need to jump there. Jump there. And... Oh! Oh, no! Uh, 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 I missed the block! Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Benji. It looks like you made a mistake. What do you mean? That was totally where I needed to go. Wait a minute. Those are invisible ghost blocks. You totally pulled a fast one on me, Leo. <laughs> I knew that it would happen eventually. Oh, look at that. It's not that side either. What in the world? Uh, was I not supposed to come down here, Leo? You totally messed with me. Hey, listen, I wasn't the one that told you to use your steak to cheat now, did I? No, you're right. I shouldn't have cheated with the steak. You're right. Well, okay. Well, here's a new fresh batch for you. I still don't want you to get hurt. I just uh, didn't want you to, you know, use them to your advantage, I quote. Fair enough. Wait, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, wait. I was supposed to come down here. I just didn't fully check out every section. <laughs> That's right. You totally made it here. Now, what else do you have to do? I don't know. Uh, let me look around here for a second. Let me check it out. So we have a chest. We have lava surrounding the chest. And we also have some dirt and some uh, normal cobblestone and some torches. But, uh... Hmm, let me just open the chest. Okay, there's a sword and a shield. There's gonna be mobs, isn't there, Leo? I don't know, maybe, but uh, how would they spawn and uh, where would they come from? Hmm, okay, what about this? Oh my gosh, you spawned in silverfish? What in the world? Ah! Oh, wait, where did my sword go? I don't know, he just had it. What happened to it? Uh, I don't know, uh, let me go in here real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I have this sword in my hands. Got the shield in my other arm. We're all okay. Oh, 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 no, these pesky things. I can never hit them right. Oh, darn it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, okay. Collect myself. Everything's all right. But what do I do from here on, Leo? Like, I'm spawning silverfish and I'm killing them, but where else do I go? Well, isn't it kind of peculiar that there's a ton of torches on the wall, Benji? Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, okay. There's a ton of silverfish now. All right, all right. Let me get rid of this first, Leo. I, I, I'll figure that out in a second. Just one second. 
All right. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm half hearts. Half hearts. Half hearts. Get rid of these fish. Okay. Eat that steak that you provided for me. That's right. The ones that you actually eat and don't throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I won't do it again. But yeah, you're right. There is a peculiar amount of these torches in this room. So, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. These are all buttons, Leo. <laughs> Maybe, but which one's the right one? I don't know. That's why I'm pressing every single one. Oh, I found it, Leo. I found it. Now, do I just have to jump in there and try to pretend there's not lava there? Oh, I did it. Wait, I won? Yes, you did it, Benji. Good job. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that, Leo. Good job on this build. You actually did amazingly well. Oh, my goodness. And you gave me just the right blocks that I like. I know. I know what you like, Benji. You're all about that purple. That's right. And if it's not purple, it's not me. Just remember that. How could I? Exactly. But, Leo, without further ado, are you ready to see what I built for you? Oh, boy, am I? All right, let's go. All right, get ready. Oh, I'm so ready. All right, Leo, don't freak out. But behind you is a giant Captain Fiddles. Ah, oh, my gosh, he's huge. That's insane, Benji. Whoa, seeing him so big is really scary. <laughs> it is a little bit scary, but I thought it was really cool that it was purple. And I wanted to show my creativity a little bit by building a statue of him. I guess you were always the creative type. Anyways, um, I don't really want to question it anymore. It's kind of freaking me out. But uh, where do I enter? <laughs> Fair enough, Leo. Um, yeah, you just want to enter over there near the foot. But uh, which area near the foot is the question. Oh, so you're saying it starts all the way out here? Yep, you got to find the entrance somehow, Leo. You kind of had that for me, but uh, mine's just a little bit more uh, advanced. That's an understatement. Look at how tall this thing is. Uh, no, it's not over there. No, no, no. Maybe it's over that way. Mm, no, all I see is grass and purple blocks. Wait a minute, Benji. Is it a ghost block? I don't know, Leo. Just check. Wait a minute. What is that behind you? Oh, my gosh. That's totally the way to get in. All right. Oh, this is... Oh, I think I'm doing it right. Do I just crawl underneath like this? That looks right to me, Leo. Go ahead and do your thing. Oh, I made it into the foot. All right. What do I do from here? Hmm. So there's a door right here, and there's a zombie arm sticking out, and there's a chest with a sword in it. I think I know what I got to do, Benji. All right. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Bring it on. Uh, oh, it died immediately. Huh, that was really easy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he died too. Okay. Woo. Hopefully that doesn't get infected. It's just a scratch, right? We'll be fine. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, just uh, make sure to clean it. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. There's so many more in here. I thought there was only like three or four, but there's a whole mob. You only gave me a wooden sword. Huh. Okay. Collect yourself, Leo. Remember, you are the victor. That's right, and never forget that. Uh, slash him away, look at this, it's just like I got him. Uh, what, what do they call it again? Oh, I think they call it a train. That's right, I have him in a train, and they can't even compete. I'm just too good, maybe even pro status. Whoa, 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 Leo, calm down. Remember, you're not a pro status yet, all right? Not a pro status yet. You're still just noob, all right? We're teaching you. Ooh, well, whatever I am, I totally killed all of them. Now, uh, now what? Uh, just take a look around. Looks like you're headed the right direction, actually. Or maybe not. Oh, come on! What? I can't tell you exactly what to do or else it's not gonna be as fun. Okay, you're right. Oh, look at this room. There's so many doors in here. Ooh, what, what does it mean? Do I have to go on one of these doors? I don't know. Wait, but that's not even possible. That's a two-jump height. I can't jump up two blocks of height. Hey, I'm impressed you knew that information, though. Come on now. Oh, man! Where am I supposed to start? Uh, Just keep looking. Hmm. Let's see. If I open this and do that. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I didn't even know I could do that with a door. All right. And then I drop that down and I can jump here. Lift that up. Go to that one. Uh, Looks like you have a strat going on here, Leo. I totally do. Look at this. I'm like a natural, but uh, wait, where do I go now? There's nothing here. Come on, Benji. You always make this difficult. Oh, come on. I really thought I had it. You were really close, Leo. I mean, like you were right there. 
I know, that's why I got so frustrated. I mean, I really thought I was gonna get that on my first try. Look, don't worry, Leah, look, we all fail. That's how we become good at something, all right? If you're not failing, you're not doing it right. Just remember that. Oh, I guess you're right. And I made it this time, so it's not even that big of a deal. Okay, now I'm on to the next part. Woohoo! See, I even figured it out there. Oh, oh, there's soul sand. Okay, um, now I need to figure out where to go from here because I don't like stepping on soul sand. It freaks me out. Uh, well, sorry, Leo. I'd hate to break it to you, but that's like the only way to go. I know. I'm manning up. I'm just, ah, my legs. Okay, oh, I'm just gonna restart. Guys, he doesn't even see all the barriers. What was that? Oh, oh, what the heck? Why couldn't I jump right there? Uh, I don't know, Leo. Try one more time. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use your steak strat. Oh, what? Even after you said that to me? Come on, that's not fair. Hey, listen, you did it first. I'm just returning the favor. Come on. No harm done, right? And look, I'm totally figuring it out. Wow, you actually are. Oh, wait, I don't know, Leo. Oh, darn it, I thought I had that. Almost. Ooh, but look at here. This looks like it works a little too well. Uh, 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 uh. Leo, that's not the way to go. Come on now. You can't cheat. What do you mean, cheat? I'm just using my resources, remember? Uh, 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 Leo, come on. Oh, oh man. Okay. Fine, I'll try to figure it out the way that you want me to. Yes, thank you. I mean, come on. At the end of the day, I figured it out the way you wanted me to. I just... It did take a little bit of adjusting, I won't lie, you did have to correct me, so I apologize for that. Okay, well, apology accepted, and I will definitely do this the way that you want me to. But if I don't go there, then do I go here? No! Oh, man! But what if I go under here? Hmm, this does look peculiar. Nah, nothing's there. Alright, I'll go up here, and uh, oh man, this is taking forever! This reminds me of one of those times that I was in line at a theme park! Don't even get me started on that! Ah, my legs. Okay, Leo, Leo, just calm down. Take a breather and take it slow, okay? Okay, all right, you're right. Here we go. Here, there, to there. And then, oh my gosh, wait. Am I actually making it? Oh, I just totally made it to the next section. See, take it slow. And I knew you could do it, Leo. Come on, let's go. Let's go is right. On to this next section. Now, uh, I see a lot of lava. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that I don't go into that. And, um... Uh, Maybe I go over here? No, no, no. Wait, oh, wait, do I go over here? I totally do, let's go. Huh, you totally found it, Leo, good job. I was honestly expecting you to be a little bit more low. Okay, yeah, just uh, restart and you'll be good. Don't worry about it. I know, I know, I'm already on the case. Uh, but Leo, that that's not the right, oh my goodness. Leo, you're cheating again. I'm not even cheating! Benji, you literally left all of these loopholes open. How am I not supposed to exploit them? Oh, I mean, I guess you're right. You know what? Using your resources, right? I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> now we're talking. That's the Benji that I know. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. All right, so how do you get to the next section, Leo? Let's see how you can do now. Hmm, I see two things right here. A fence and a fence gate. Hmm, so... <laughs> I knew it! That was so easy! Now I need to go over here and, oh, what is, what is this? So, you know how I usually have you pick three choices, right? Uh, basically I left this one up to luck, so, uh, go ahead and give it your best shot, Leo. Let's see which one you choose. Leave it up to fate, am I right? What kind of logic is that? I, oh, I totally did it on the first try. Oh, what? You did do it on the first try. I mean, you know what? More power to you, Leo. Good job, good job. See? Now you know how I felt last time. I mean, I don't hold grudges. Like I said, I, I don't hold grudges, but uh, it, it did happen to me last time. Anyways, oh, I totally missed that jump. Don't worry, I'll totally respawn you right back to that block. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, now to try one more time. Let's go. <laughs> oh, darn it, that kind of hurt. <sighs> okay. What the heck, Benji? How am I supposed to make it here? Oh, wait, I totally did it. Okay, now I can move on here. Oh, what's this? Ah! Ow! Ow! Oh my gosh! Ah! The burn! It hurts! It hurts! Wait, it, it kind of feels all right, though. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, I don't like it. Oh, I need the steak. All right. <laughs> Calm down. Stop. And the burning will stop. That's how it works, right? Okay. Oh, it's gone. Whew. Okay, time to move on. You, you okay, Leo? That, that was kind of 
like insane to hear, but uh, as long as you're okay, that, that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm totally fine, uh, but now I just need to make it through these ladders, and everything will be cool, and... Oh, wait a minute. I just totally realized that I'm doing ladder parkour right now, and I'm actually landing them. Oh, Benji, I've gotten so much better. Oh, what do you think? Rate me out of 10. <laughs> Leo, you're doing, like, honestly, 9.5 out of 10 right now. What? You're not gonna say 10 out of 10? Well, see, I would have, but earlier with all the using your resources, remember? Oh, come on. You know you know what, though? We all had our fair share today, so I'll just... Ah! 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 That hurt. Okay, just respawn me up there. Oh, I can totally do this jump. Three, two, one. Ah! Ow! Okay, one more time. I just need to eat some steak, get some protein in there, and now I can jump one more time. Okay, ow. I didn't even jump. Leo, it's not that hard. Look, look, I totally just did it. Check it out. You you got it this time, all right? You, you can do it this time. This is the one. Oh my gosh, I totally did it! Thank you for your encouragement. Of course, that's what I'm here for, Leo. Come on now. And if you look in front of you, uh, what do you see here? What, what do you think you need to do? Um, wait, uh, I just walked through it, Benji. That, that was so easy. What, what are you talking about? All right, well, you know, I, I kind of did this section as like a calm before the storm type deal. And also, you did a lot already, so think of it as a free, free uh, course. You know what I mean? Wow, that, that was very generous of you, Benji. Thank you. Of course, and uh, I like how you just skipped that lava right there. There was a whole thing, but you know, don't even worry about it, Leo. It, it's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, I totally just found the way. Okay. And if that's the way, then maybe I go this way and then maybe I go that way. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to fall there. Something tells me that wasn't supposed to happen because there's no other ghost blocks here. Okay, so I'll have to jump up here again and hmm. No, not there. <laughs> I kind of look like Mario right there bashing my head up against the block. Oh, I totally missed the jump. Darn it. You're doing great, Leo. Honestly, this this has been a really fun experience for me watching you do all this. You, you've you really grown, and it's shown. I, I'm serious. Really? You think I've gotten better? Oh, would you even say that I'm getting closer to becoming a... No, no, Leo, calm down. Not a pro, okay? Not there yet, okay? I keep telling you, not yet, but you're getting better. I, I promise. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you. That means so much to me. Of course, anytime, Leo. Just keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah, the good work. I can see we both had the idea of the silverfish. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. They just keep spawning. Oh. Ah, look at them. They're just. <laughs> they look so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at them all just fall to the ground. <laughs> They're just so little rats. Ooh, look at them. <laughs> Leo, Leo, calm down. Whoa, whoa. Chill, bro. Chill. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You're right. You're right. Um, I need to. I need to move on. Um. What's, what's behind me? Um, uh, let's see. What, what do I have to do now? <laughs> Wait, sorry. I can't help myself. They just look so funny. Okay, Leo, I, I agree. They do look kind of funny, but move on, move on. Okay. You're right. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 I totally missed it. Darn it. Oh. I got you, Leo. Don't worry. Wait, wait, where'd you go? Okay, respawn there. <laughs> okay, try again. Okay, jump. Uh, one there, one there. Oh, I'm totally killing it! One there! Oh, no, I totally missed. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three! Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta wait right here, old man. Can I even make it now? Yep, give it a go, Leo. I, I think you actually might be able to land that. Just please make it. Uh, oh, I totally made it! Oh, uh, oh wait, I, I can't even get up there. Mm, Benji, one more time. I'm already on it, Leo. You got it. This is the one. I feel it. Oh, oh okay. Bouncing. There we go. Oh, I tied it. I did it. I did it. Oh, I can't even speak English right now, Benji. Oh, I'm just so exhausted. That took me so many tries. I know, Leo. Trust me. I was watching you, but don't worry. You made it this far, and now you're off to the final area. All right? You can do this. Now, you see this boat right here? Huh, wait, what? What What are you talking about? I'm, I'm still I'm still looking at all those silverfish. <laughs> They're just so funny. But, uh, oh, okay, okay, I see what's going on here. So, do you want me to go into that lava down there? Well, no, no, Leo, you want to avoid the lava, remember? Oh, that's right. Wait, I can totally see my treasure room from here. Oh, okay, I just have to make it to this boat. Oh, you totally did it. Okay, nice. Okay, now you just need to go down there into the lava with the boat. 
And uh, the rest is history from there, Leo. Just figure it out. Ow! Wait, where the heck did my bow go? Oh, darn it. It totally disappeared. Huh. Well, anyway, I guess I didn't need it. Leo, what in the world? That, that wasn't what you were supposed to do. Oh, anyways. Whatever. A win's a win, isn't it, Leo? Good job. You totally made it to the end. Oh, I totally did. Let's go. Whoa, look at all these gold blocks. Whoa, this is all for me? Oh, this is awesome. Whoa, look at all these blocks. And then, I didn't even check this other chest. What's in here? I don't know, Leo. Go check it out. Whoa, diamond blocks and nether blocks. Whoa, okay, awesome. This was so cool. Thank you so much for building this for me, Benji. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, me too, and seeing you do it was really entertaining. So, thank you so much for doing that, and I really appreciate you telling me that you enjoyed it. Absolutely. Till the next build, right, Leo? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Benji. Hi, Leo. What are we going to be doing today? I'm so glad that you asked, Leo. Today, we're going to be doing an Ultra Maze Build Challenge, and we're going to have 15 minutes to create that challenge. And once we get it done, the winner is going to win $10 million. Oh my gosh, are you serious? No, I'm kidding. But the winner is going to get some awesome, awesome loot. And I can guarantee you, you're going to love it if you win. Oh, okay. Awesome. I definitely have to win now. That's right, Leo. You definitely have to at least try. I mean, you're competing with me, so we'll just see about that. Oh, we definitely will. And I'm going to up the ante this time. I'm just going to let you know, Benji, you got a little competition. All right, Leo. I believe you. So let's just get it started. You ready, bot? Absolutely. All right. And the 15 minutes starts right now. We're going to get out our axe right here, trusty dusty. Go ahead and hit down the floor with a good marker. Go to the other side over here. Make another marker, and then we're going to go ahead and make our floor, and this is all we need for now. We're going to start out with just the floor, and I'm feeling expensive today. I'm thinking a uh, diamond block. Wow, look at that. That's looking good so far. Dang, just look at it already. This is looking good. Okay, let's go. There's no way Leo's going to be beating this. Anyways, right over here, I was thinking of making a secret entrance, so that way this is the actual place that he's going to have to go through, but... Right at the very front here, we're going to have a decoy entrance just to mess with Leo a little bit. See where he's at with his headspace today. I know if I don't have my coffee, I'm not going to be able to find the right one. However, I think that he's been on something today, and I don't know what it is. However, he's definitely going to have a trouble figuring out what is the right entrance and what is not. So, after he enters and finds the right way to get in, I'm going to have this parkour ready for him. But it's not just going to be any old parkour. No, 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 no. This parkour is going to have some lava floor, baby. Because let's be honest, if there was no lava underneath it, then what would be the consequence of falling at the parkour? You wouldn't even be scared to do it. There'd be no point to even go on the parkour. And I'm not saying that I like seeing Leo freak out. I just know that this is going to be a lot more entertaining for you guys if I do it this way. As I build, I'm kind of doing a test run here, so that way we can uh, make sure that this parkour is effective enough for our, our good man Leo. I'm thinking slime blocks because those are bouncy and I think this will disrupt him enough to make things a lot more funny. And also, I'm surprised that slime blocks can stay alive in lava, but the, you know, it just does. Just like last time, we're going to add some ladder parkour so that way that Leo can have another experience in this because each time he does the ladder parkour, I think he's going to get better. Or at least that's the hope. Or honestly, maybe not the hope because if he doesn't get better, it's, it's just honestly more funny. But I, I don't like seeing him do bad. I like seeing him do good. So hopefully things can do good for him. But the soul sand, I'm not going to make it easy. I got to slow him down. Once he gets to the slime, he's going to feel really, really fast because it's going to be bouncy. Things are going to be fun. And I don't even know if this jump that I'm making right now is possible. Let me just make sure. There we go. Okay. But guys, I'm going to complete the lava parkour and then we're going to move on to the next section of the maze where I'm going to add a little bit more mob action going on. And boom, there we go. The lava parkour is done. It's time to move on to the mob section. We'll start out by selecting this block right here, going to the very opposite end of this build, selecting this block, and we're going to create a wall. The main reason I'm making this wall is because after finishing the parkour build, I found out that the build was just a little bit too wide. So I'm going to shorten it a little bit, get rid of the excess like this, and then we can go ahead and proceed with our build. Right here, we're going to add some dispensers. We're going to go ahead and fill them up with these zombie eggs. So that way, whenever he opens up this trap chest, it's going to uh, create some tension for Leo. Let's just say that. 
Leo, please forgive me. It's nothing personal. The game's a game. The key here is I wanted to make him think that he's completed it and it was just that simple. That's all I have to my build, but na na na. I just wanted to make you have an idea of what it would feel like to get to the end, but... And to really sell the idea that he's gonna open this chest for a reward, we're gonna cover up those dispensers with some pictures. So that way, Leo just will not expect it at all. It's gonna be quite the spectacle. Now, we'll see if he falls for it or not. However, I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that he will. Leo, please forgive me. Also, to spark some confusion, I'm gonna place down some pressure plates onto the floor right here just to mess with Leo. They're not gonna do anything. These are gonna be inactive pressure plates. However, as you can tell, in the past we've had some TNT to explode when those uh, pressure plates are on the floor, so he's gonna expect the worst. Moving on to the next room, we're going to make this wall out of bedrock, that way he can't cheat. There's no way to break through these blocks, unless you're in creative mode like me, obviously I could do that right now. However, for this room, he's going to have to choose between two doors, one is the right way, and the other one is going to be the wrong way, that's going to spawn a pigman when he steps on a pressure plate, just to scare him off a little bit. Benji, did I hear you say zombie pigman? Uh, no, I said, uh, my nose is picking. Oh, oh, okay. See, that makes way more sense, Benji, because you know that I hate zombie pigmen. They're just, they're just so gross. Oh, oh, I just don't like them. Oh, but as long as they're not over there, everything's okay. I hope your build's going good, Benji. Thank you, Leo. I hope that yours is going great over there, too. Woo, Leo's gonna be a bit mad at me, guys, but it's okay. It's all in good fun, and everything's gonna be fine. He'll respawn, okay? He might die here and there. He'll fall off the edge when he falls into the pistons, but it's fine, guys. He'll be fine. Before we move on with the build, we're gonna add a nice aesthetic roof to this section, so that way when he goes over here, it sets a nice vibe. We're gonna have this going on. Hmm, let me think. Do I want him to be in an iron door for this entrance, or do I want him to use the normal wooden door? Hmm, you know, iron doors look kind of good. Uh, but then again, nah, we don't want that. We're gonna have to use something a little bit more simple. I'm thinking a wooden door. Yeah, and you know what? I think that looks better. And this is why I'm a pro, guys. Look at that. I know it's kind of wrong, but in order to attract him into the wrong room, we're gonna put some diamond blocks in there. So he'll be like, ooh, what are those? And then, you know, the rest is history. We'll see what happens. Hopefully you choose the right one, Leo. I know you like diamonds, though, so <laughs> we'll just have to see. We're gonna add these item frames, and before he goes into the doors, that way he can have an idea of what's behind them, and hopefully influence him to choose a particular door. Now, this all depends on what he wants. If you choose the left door, it's easy, it's simple. You get diamond blocks. Who doesn't want diamond blocks? On the right, it's a little bit more complicated. You get a pickaxe, it's made out of wood, you have to work hard and maybe build through something or break through something, so we'll just see what he chooses. Alrighty, so the room that we're building right here is going to be a trap for Leo. I'm so sorry. Listen, it just is what it is. It's going to be made out of redstone, pressure plates, repeaters, and pistons. And uh, let's just say um, if Leo falls into this thing, his uh, whole worldview is going to change. <laughs> Literally. Alright, so now that the room with the pistons and the pressure plates and all that is done, we're going to make one more room. But this room's going to be kind of funny because it's not going to have anything. There's not going to be any traps. It's just going to be empty. And the reason for this is I kind of want to psych out Leo, just see if he's um, going to expect something. Because obviously the other rooms had stuff to offer, but this one's just a bit of a decoy, just to test him, see what his mind space is at. But otherwise, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be cool, smooth. And then now we can move on to the next section of the maze. And now, the part that you've all been waiting for, the big ultimate maze. Now, this is going to take me the longest part of this entire video, so I'm just going to get to the part where I finish the entire thing, and hopefully you guys enjoy. Also, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so. Hit that bell, and then get subscriber notifications when we post new videos just like this one. And also, I wonder how Leo's doing over there. Benji, I am so excited. I know you're over there working really hard, but oh man, just what I have in front of me right now is just my eyes are exploding with joy. I've just never made something so good before. Oh, I'm just so excited for you to try it. Oh, oh wow. I'm excited to try it now too with all that hype. Come on now. This is going to be awesome. And I'm excited for you to try mine as well, Leo. Just wait until you see it. You're going to be blown away. Hopefully not literally. Woo-wee! Man, that took me a long time to complete, but look at that! 
It's all done and it's very confusing just how we like it. Honestly, I feel like this is going to take him forever, maybe even a whole day. I don't know if I could fit this into an entire video, but uh, hopefully we do. Fingers crossed. But anywho, I have a big thing planned after this maze is finished, because after he gets out of the maze, there's going to be obstacles now. It's going to be a little bit like parkour, but more wipeout style. All right, so this next section is going to be pretty cool. We start out here with a glass block, then we're going to put down a mechanical bearing. And then the mechanical bearing is going to hold on to the spinner right here that holds on to the diamond block that will then spin around and then act as if a platform is moving while Leo can jump across to the next one and the next one. So this will not be easy for him, but we'll see how he does. Boom. As you guys can see, they're spinning. This reminds me of some old video game I used to play, but legit spinning like a merry-go-round. He has to jump from each platform and he has to get to the very end. And once he does that, then we can move on to the next section, which I'll explain right now. So this next section involves a lot of redstone. So I'll explain it in just a second. I'll be right back. Cool. So right here we have all of these dispensers. And what I was using earlier with the redstone, that is what's going to be controlling all of these dispensers, which are going to be shooting out arrows as Leo runs by them. Now that, as you can already tell, is going to be quite the challenge. However, if Leo does it right, he'll get past it, not fully unscathed. He'll get an arrow in him or two, probably, but he'll make it out. And if he can do that, he's basically won. But I'd be lying if I said this wasn't going to be a challenge. So there's going to be one more room after this one. All right. So the last path here isn't going to be too difficult. It's going to be one long path and that's it. However, there's a bit of a catch. Mobs are going to be in there. Now, how is he going to make it all the way through without any armor or weapons? Good question. He wouldn't. So, we're going to supply him with that, and he should make it to the very end. And once he does, that's it. He's won. We're going to give him the gold blocks. I know he likes other blocks a lot, but the gold blocks have a special place in his heart. Trust me. He's going to love this stuff. And that's it. We're done. We completed the build. And look at this, guys. This turned out so awesome. I can't wait for Leo to see this. He's going to have such a blast in here. Leave a comment where you think he might have the most struggle. Side note, I'm excited to see what Leo's made. I've been looking at my stuff. I want to see what he's made. Leo, time's up. How's it going over here? Oh, Benji, I'm so glad you asked. Everything is done. I'm so excited for you to see. Oh, I know. Look at this. It's my signature dirt. I love using dirt blocks. They just remind me of survival mode whenever I first get my builds going. Yep, that's definitely a dirt block, Leo. Good job. So am I good to enter? Oh, yes, absolutely. Do you see that right over there? I want you to go right through that. It says hi, huh? Welcoming. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 uh. Leo, man, that was such a rude thing to put right at the beginning. Why would you do that to me, Leo? Um, because, uh, you did stuff like that to me, so I had to do it back, obviously. Oh, you fell for it again. What in the world? That was a good one, Leo. <laughs> you really, I fell for it. Get, I get it. Now, <laughs> how do I get inside? I'm kind of, I'm kind of just confused at this point. I, I'm going past the what happened. Um, well, uh. I don't really know. This this wasn't really supposed to happen. Uh, pay no attention to this hole. We're just going to go ahead and move on to the next section, okay? That was the one you were supposed to go on. Yeah, just just forget about this. Uh, yeah, no, just keep going. <laughs> well, Leo, I hear lava, so that doesn't sound good. Oh, don't worry about it, Benji. That's just, that's just, you know, part of the fun. Come here, okay? Self-explanatory enough. I'm here. Now what? Well, uh, there was supposed to be something right here, but, uh, I just wanted to say hi and give you this dirt block again. What in the world, Leo? It's just dirt. You know I don't want dirt. I'm already surrounded by enough of it. I know. I just thought that it would be a funny gift to give you before you, know, possibly win, because I think you might. Hey, uh, hi, Leo. Hi. Hello. Oh, watch out. Gosh, Benji, you gotta watch where you're stepping. You have 63 pieces of steak. So if you run out of steak, you're gonna be in big trouble if you keep catching on fire like that. Come on, you need to be careful. I know, I know, Leo. You're right. I'll be more careful from now on. Okay, so let's do this section right here. This looks a bit more safe. 
less lava here. That's right. I specifically did that for you. That way you didn't have as much trouble because I know lava and you don't really mix well. Well, I guess that's how it is with most people, but specifically you and lava. They just, the relationship is, is different. Anyways, you see all these signs right here? Uh, yeah, I do, but I'm going to be honest, Leo, I'm a little bit scared because it's hard to trust you from what I just saw. Oh, don't worry. Come on, look, I'm down here already. It's safe, see? All right. Now, do I go down here? Yep, that's it. Keep going. Okay, it's it's getting kind of scary down here. Did you think of adding any lights? I mean, it's a cave, Leo. I can't see anything. No, come on, just, you're fine. That brightness you have, just turn that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot I have all the commands that I need. I can't fly, though. Leo, I'm trapped down here. I I need some help. Guide me, please. I, I don't like being in enclosed spaces like this. I get claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot! Oh, Benji, I'm so sorry! Okay, so basically, you just want to find the exit. Wow, really, thank you. Thank you so much, Leo. Wait, is that where I go? Oh, I, can't, I forgot I could crouch all the way down like this. All right, Leo, I'm out! I'm out! I found the exit just like you said! <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, you did! Okay, so now, it's time to move on to the next section. You see all that lava right there? Have your stakes ready at hand, because I already know something bad might just happen. Oh, because, uh, I know how you are with- Oh my goodness, you did it immediately? Wow, good, good job, Benji. Okay, um, moving on into the maze section. Leo, isn't this all supposed to be a maze? I, I kind of thought that was the whole idea. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, this one looks more like a maze, so that's why I did that. Oh, okay, I understand that. Hello! Oh my gosh, Leo, don't do that. I'm freaking out here, okay? I'm already stuck in a maze. I need to figure out how to exit, okay? Just please calm down. I'm sorry, Benji. I didn't want to freak you out that hard. I didn't know I was that scary. No, 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 no. It's not that you're scary. I just, it's me. I, I Don't worry. It's not you. It's me. I, I'm just a little freaked out in the situation that I'm in. Please just bear with me. I need to find the exit, okay? I, I, I get nervous when I, when I see all these gray dots. You know how like gray dots are with me. I just uh, I can't do it. Just focus on the lava. That's why I put one of these patches in here. Just a little bit of shimmer of light in between all of these dots. Thank you, Leo. Oh, man. It kind of did reset me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. See? That's why I put them there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I found the next section. Uh-oh. Is this one of your mob schemes again? Maybe. Oh, oh. No, it's definitely not. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> and it's not. But you see that now. So, remember that TNZ run you did to me last time? Oh, so that's what this is about. Well, well, I wouldn't say I hold grudges, but, uh, good luck! I did it. Oh, what? How'd you defeat it so fast? Uh, you weren't supposed to do it that quickly? Oh, whatever. Anyways, moving on to the next section. So, you see this keypad right here? Basically, throughout this new maze you see right in front of your eyes, you're gonna have to go through, find some of the code numbers, and then come back here and open the door with those, and then next thing you know, we'll be in the next room! What if I just guess numbers? Eh, whatever. Okay, I'll go find it, Leo. Let's go do this. Alright. Okay, so if I were Leo, where would I hide numbers? Leo, why is there another door here? With a keypad on it, as well as the last one? Oh, um, well, let's just say when you find the code, you have to put it into the right door, or else you'll be stuck here forever. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. L Leo, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course you're not going to be stuck here forever. And if anything, I would just break out the blocks if you felt scared for that long. Come on, I wouldn't do that to you. You're right. What am I thinking? Anyways, another door? Oh my goodness, Leo. How many doors do I have to open? You only have to open one door, however, there is three, so if you do open one of the doors with the code, that's the right one. However, I made it that way, so if you find the code... I just found the code. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, perfect. Now you just have to find the right door. Uh, something's telling me it might be this one. Oh, would you look at that? What in the world? How'd you find it so quickly? Oh, come on, Benji. That was supposed to take a little longer. <laughs> it was just that simple, Leo. Come on. You're talking to a pro here. Oh, I guess so. Oh well, eat your steak and then we can go ahead and move along to the next section. More lava. Ooh, almost fell right there. That was scary. Okay, cool. That was a nice section right there, Leo. I, I enjoyed that. Good, I'm glad you did. Alrighty, let's go on to the next section. Okay, so where am I at now? What What's going on here, Leo? You're in a maze right now, and I wanted to let you know the main objective that you want to do for this section is to find the right way. The right way? What does that even mean? Oh my gosh, another ravine? I, just, I can't look at it anymore. It's just, there's too many ravines, Leo. I'm, I'm scared of those. I have a fear of heights. 
Even though I fell earlier, I it's still like my worst fear. Uh, I know, but it's just, it's only one. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I think I found the signs. Oh, you sure did. Now read them. What do they say? They say, right, 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 right. Why do they all say right, Leo? What's the deal with that? Well, that means you have to go the right way. Oh, you know what? I just figured it out, Leo. Okay, so you want me to go through the signs that say right way. That makes a lot of sense. I was getting a bit confused, and oh my god, there's so many mobs in here. Give me this diamond sword. I didn't even know there was going to be a sword in there, but it's time to fight. I can't die yet. I have too many things to do. So many things to check off my list. Oh my goodness. Spiders, baby zombies. I need to have kids. I already have kids. Wait, what happened to my wife? Benji, what are you talking about? You don't have a wife or kids. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. I totally don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a little scared right now. Leo, look at how many zombies there are in front of me. You're fine. Look at you, Benji. You're doing amazing. You already killed more than half of them. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, I just need to eat this steak, revitalize myself, and get back to work. That's right. Look at you. Look at you being an inspiration. This is so sick, Benji. Oh my goodness, you killed them all. That was awesome. Okay, now it's time to move on to the next room. I'm so surprised that you did that that quickly, though. I mean, you should be proud of yourself. Nah, it's nothing to be too proud of. I mean, let's be honest here. That that was easy. That, that was light work. And plus, I wasn't even scared. Um, yeah, right. Let's go with that. But anyways, congratulations, Benji. You won. Oh my gosh, I did. Whoa, look at all these cool blocks. Thank you, Leo. This is awesome. I'm going to add these to one of my houses one day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just so glad you made it through. You were frightening me for a minute there. You almost convinced me you weren't going to defeat all those mobs. <laughs> but I'm glad that it all pulled through. Thank you. And uh, did you want to see my build now? Boy, do I. Let's go. All right, Leo. So now if you just look behind you, you're going to see the build that I've made. Whoa, you use diamond blocks. Those are so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Now go ahead and try to get in. See, see where you go. Um, do I just go right here? Um, Benji, this is impossible. I can't get in through this way. These doors are rock solid. Oh, I can't get in. Benji, what do I do? You gotta find a way in, Leo. Come on, that's all right. It starts now. This is part of the maze. Oh my gosh, wait, I found it. <laughs> I knew that I would get it. I didn't even doubt myself for a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. So, check out here. What do you think this is right here, Leo? Oh, this is gonna be so fun. You know that I love my lava. Ah, and, uh, this is parkour, by the way. I just didn't even say it. I was just so in the moment. I just love lava. And I can make it. I can do this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I made it. Yes, this is perfect. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, I can't get a steady grip on the floor, Benji. What is this? Those are slime blocks. I kind of had a feeling that would bring you some trouble. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Can he make it? Can I make it? This is so easy. Ow! Oh, ow, the fire. Oh, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's okay, Benji. <laughs> I brought my snacks. Every time I eat a snack, I revitalize. Exactly. That's why I supplied you with them. You supplied me with steak. I had to supply you with the snacks. Exactly. Thank you, Benji. That was really thoughtful of you. I'm I'm glad that you think of me like that. Oh, oh, what was I even trying to do? Oh, 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 wait. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. False alarm. False alarm. I just need to I just need to wait out the burn. No pain, no gain, right? Oh, uh, okay. Whew. That was close. Eat up this steak. Uh, jump here, jump there, and I can do this. This is the last jump. I believe in you, Leo. Yes, I did it! Whew, that was close. Now what? All right, so now we're going on to the next section where you're gonna have to make a decision. A very important decision. But watch out. You don't wanna step on those pressure plates. Oh, you're right, I don't. Those pressure plates scream TNT, and I just don't wanna get dropped by a TNT block anymore. Watch your step, Leo. Watch your step. Aim, aim. Yes, I made it! Benji, look at me, I'm about to win! <laughs> I knew I would win! <laughs> this is so easy! I'm surprised! Oh my god! Ah! 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 I don't even have a weapon, what am I doing? Benji, help, help, help! I 
wouldn't make the win that easy, Leo. And okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. Look, see, I'm helping you out. I'm sorry. Look, look, I, the last thing I wanted to do is leave you high and dry. Yes, thank you. Jeez, why do you have to be so mean? I'm sorry, Leo. Look, look, they're dead. They're dead. Okay, I apologize. That was not cool of me. Uh, yeah, that was so mean. I wouldn't even do that to you. At least I supplied you with a weapon. You did, you did. Okay, let's just forgive and forget, okay? Next section. Okay, all right. Ooh, diamond blocks? Really? Behind this door? I have to check that out. Ooh, oh my gosh! Ah! Not again! Leo, you told me not you wouldn't do it again, but here we are! Oh wait, they're they're not hitting me though. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Look, they could they're cool. They they have swords. Anyways, I'll just go to the next section because this is clearly the right way. Oh, I see. I get to choose the same decision, huh? Well, I'm not going to make the wrong mistake again, okay? <laughs> see? I'm going through the right door this time. Oh, but just kidding. Reverse psychology. I'm going through this door instead. Oh, but reverse reverse psychology. I'm going to go through this door because you thought I was going to go through that door, but I'm actually going through this door. Haha, <laughs> see? Whatever you just said right there, Leo. Uh, you know what? Uh, honestly, it might have made perfect sense. I'll, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> That's because I'm right. Honestly, yeah, you, you were you were really spot on. I'm not even going to lie to you. Exactly, because how could you? Because I already had it all figured out. <laughs> you sure did, I guess. All right, choose the next door. Obviously, I choose this one because the other one wouldn't make sense. <laughs> well, just when you thought you had it figured out, huh, Leo? Oh, come on now. You know I tried my best. I know, I know. That's just it, though, Leo. You can't judge a book by its cover. That's true. That's true. All right. Well, this one's obviously the right way because the other one was definitely not. That was so scary. Oh, what's this? More pressure plates, huh? I'm not falling for the same trick twice. All right. If there's pressure plates, that clearly means there's something bad. It could mean that, but it could not. Oh, wait. Benji, those didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I'll just check to make sure those ones were duds too. And they were. Perfect. Wow. That was awesome. Benji, I'm doing good. <laughs> you sure are uh, definitely not about to go into the giant maze that uh, I couldn't even go through yet. So good luck. A maze? I'm sure it's not that big. Oh, uh, it's 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 huge. This is the biggest maze I've ever built. Huh? Oh, my gosh, Benji, this is going to take me forever. It'll be fine. You'll be OK. Just take your time. The last thing you want to do is rush it because then you'll start to go a bit insane. Yeah, true, but uh, honestly, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end here. I, I don't think this is that difficult. Hmm. Hmm. These blocks look familiar. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, I'm completely lost. Well, I am going to let you know that all of them are made of diamond blocks, Leo, so that could be why you're noticing that you've been to that area, because they're made by the same exact blocks. Well, I know that. It's just... That one particular spot looked very peculiar. Ooh, this area looks good. It looks like I'm making some sort of progress. Okay, I'm on to the next section is what it feels like. Is that right, Benji? Am I making any progress at all? I'm getting so confused. Leo, actually, you're already a quarter of the way through. So good job. Only a quarter? Oh, no, this is going to take me forever. We've already been in here for like 20 minutes. Leo, it's only been like a couple of seconds. You're doing fantastic actually you're right i can do this guys if you haven't already hit subscribe for leo he is going through a lot right now and if you press subscribe every new subscriber we get makes him happier every single second so if you haven't already go ahead and press subscribe hit the bell and leo will be so much happier and i think he might just make it through the maze whoa i, I don't know what just happened but benji i i just I feel so much better now. I, I feel so much more positive and things are happening so much better for me right now. This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa, do you guys see that? See, it's already working. That's the ticket, Leo. Keep that energy and you will make it through this maze no matter what. I know you will. Do, 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 do. Walking through a maze. This is kind of amazing. Wow, Leo, that was pretty good. Have you been taking vocal lessons? <laughs> Not really, but I think I think I'm just kind of a natural born singer if I'd say so myself. <laughs> oh, well, at least you have a little bit of humbleness in you. That that that's important. I know I'm, I'm the most humble person I know. Leo, I'm not quite sure that's how that works. But you know what? <laughs> you, you seem humble to me, so I'll just take your word for it. Thank you. Now, are you just messing with me or am I actually getting close? Come on, Benji. Tell me what's going on. You're getting really close, Leo. 
you're actually like 9.9 right now. Just kidding. Okay, you're 100. You made it. Oh my gosh, I actually did. I never thought I would get out of that maze. I was starting to go insane. Don't worry, Leo. I knew you had it in you. That, to me, was like the easiest step you could have done. But now, look in front of you. Whoa, what am I even looking at? Benji, this looks awesome. Oh, oh, whoa, I just went for it. I totally landed it, though. Woo, I feel like I'm on a merry-go-round. I'm getting kind of dizzy. Whoa, whoa. Come on, pace yourself. All right, you're right. I can do this. Uh, ah, whoa, okay, okay. Next one, whoa! Oh, I'm actually killing it. I'm not even falling. <laughs> this is like nothing. Oh, whoa, okay. I'm going on. I'm going on. I'm going to get to the end right here. Ah! Oh, darn it, Leo. You were so close to just getting it perfect on your first run. But don't worry about it. We're not going to start you at the beginning. We're going to start you on the one that you fell on. Oh, thank the Lord. I did not want to go all the way back. I don't know if I could do it that well again. Oh, I'm sure you could, Leo. Come on now. Oh, you're probably right, but this just saves time, so don't worry about it, alright? I know I have it in me. Woo! I made it! Let's go! I knew I could do it, I knew I could do it! Me too, Leo. I knew you had it in you the whole time. Now, this next part is gonna be a little bit painful. A little bit painful? What do you mean, Benji? This, this looks like just a tunnel. Like, this doesn't look that hard. Uh, well, you see, uh... Um, what were those zombie sounds over there, Benji? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't worry about that right now. Anyways. Whoa, what in the world? I have to get through that? Uh, yeah. Good luck, Leo. I know you got it in you, though. You just have to time it right. Okay, I just have to time it right and I won't get hurt. Well, that's not what I said. Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. Leo, I never said that you'd go through and not get hurt. I said this was gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Well, okay, now that I'm aware of that, I'm gonna push through the pain. That's the spirit. You got this. You're right. This is like nothing to me. <laughs> I got this right now. Oh, 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 through the pain. Oh, oh. oh, you were so close that time, Leo. I don't know what it is, but I've been told in my life that the third time is a charm, so I think that that is exactly what's gonna happen for you right now. You know what? I think that's right. I think that on this go, this is going to be the one that I win on. Ah, here we go. Oh, oh, go through the pain. I'm almost there. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh, oh my gosh. I did it. I did it. I did it, Benji. I did it. I did it. I did it. You sure did. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Leo. That was awesome. I'm sorry that I had to put you through that pain, but you took it like a champ. All right, Leo, so for the next section of this maze that I have set up for you, it's going to be super simple. All you have to do is put on that armor, and you're going to be set. Trust me. Um, set for what? Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you. There's going to be tons of mobs throughout this tunnel. It's not going to be a hard maze, but once you go around, it's just going to be zigzagging. And the whole time, you just have to fight through the mobs, and that's it. You, you come out a victor. You come out a victorious victor. A victor? Oh, I want to do that. Okay, I want to be a victor. So far, this is easy. These mobs can't even handle what I got. That's right. Look, I supplied you with some good armor. That's right, Leo. It's that easy. This is a bit exhausting, but I feel pumped. This is so crazy. Woo! Skeleton who? That's right. I'm out of here. I don't even have to kill all of them, do I? Actually, Leo, that's part of the deal. You have to kill all the mobs on your way there. If you don't, you don't actually win. Oh, what? But that's gonna be so much harder. Are you sure I can't just run through them? Nope, Leo, that's part of the deal. If you don't fight the mobs, you don't win. And you don't become a victor. Remember, a victorious victor. Oh, that's right. And I definitely want to become a victorious victor. I've never heard of it before, but I want to be one. That's the spirit, Leo. Keep it up. Oh, more skeletons. You're staring into the eye of a victor. You guys can't hurt me because I'm going to be a victor. That's right, Leo. You tell him. Tell him that you're going to be the victor because it's true. I feel it. Seeing this display, I know that you can do it. Oh, thank you, Benji. That's so inspiring. All right. I can keep this going. Oh, my God. There's so much more. Ah! Leo, you just said that it was nothing. Oh, yeah. You're right. This is nothing to me. I am 
I'm a victor. I can come out on top and nobody can challenge me because I have this diamond armor, I have this shield, and I have my diamond sword. Ha <laughs> ha! Slowly but surely, things are dwindling down for the good old Leo. Leo, 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 that's me. It still does hurt a little bit, Benji, when it goes through my armor, but I'm still pushing through. Yes, that's the spirit. That's how it's done. All right. Oh, ah, that does it. You think that you can just pull up on me and do that? Uh-uh. Slash, slash. Ah, oh, this is the last zombie right here. Benji, I did it. Time to eat my food and move along. That's right, keep doing it, you're killing it. Oh yeah, and you know what's so weird? I used to have a big fear of zombies, right? But after this, I'm feeling really confident. And I'm not even scared of skeletons anymore. Honestly, they just kind of hurt. Well, no need to worry anymore, Leo, because look down there, you just won. What? Oh my gosh, no way. Oh, I knew I could do it. That was kind of difficult, Benji, but honestly, that was so fun. Oh, you didn't. I did. You knew that I loved gold. Let's go. I love this so much. Thank you, Benji. Don't thank me. If you didn't make it all the way to here, then you wouldn't have got the gold. So thank yourself, Leo. Pat yourself on the back. You did a fantastic job. What? Do you really think so? Thank you. Absolutely. And for what it's worth, yours was a really fun experience as well. So honestly, credit to you, Leo. That was so much fun. What? Thank you. And you know, I think I'm just becoming a good old pro myself. What do you think, Benji? Whoa, whoa there, bud. I wouldn't say that just yet, but you are improving every single time we do this. So I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Benji. Hola. Hey, Benji. Leo, when did you learn how to speak Spanish? Well, I didn't really learn how to speak Spanish, but I did learn how to say hola, which means hello. But hey, Leo, I know you uh, wanted to build on the purple side today, right? Oh, no, 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 no. You know that I love my yellow. I just can't part with it. I know, Leo. I'm just kidding. And I haven't even told you the build yet. Oh, yeah. What are we doing? Today, we're going to be doing an ultimate challenge. An ultimate challenge? That's right, and this ultimate challenge is going to be the safest hidden house challenge. And we're gonna have 15 minutes to complete it. You do yours over there in that yellow section that I know you love so much. Yes, I do! And I'll be on the purple side. Alright, Leo, let's get started. You're on! As you guys can see, I started with a diamond base, just because that's just what I do. I love my diamonds. But the whole point of this is that I'm gonna dig a ginormous hole, because this is where I'm gonna have my safe house. All right, and use a little bit of world edit, da, 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 and boom. Whoa, that is a huge cavern. I would not want to fall into that. Thankfully, I'm in creative mode right now. I just know if Leo had something like that, he might just fall in. Benji, did you talk about a cavern or something? I don't really hear you. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Leo, are, are you okay over there? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My legs are hurting just a little bit, but uh, I think I'll make it. <laughs> well... Seems like he, he definitely fell into the hole. <laughs> but uh, moving on to this build, though, I'm sure he'll be all right. <laughs> uh, right, Leo? Oh, oh, yeah. Everything's fine over here. Don't you worry, Benji. That was just a little hiccup. <laughs> but uh, I'm good right now. Don't you worry. Okay, good. See, guys, everything's fine. And honestly, I think that only happened because somebody hit subscribe. It shook up the whole system. <laughs> but now that we have our hole here, we're going to fill it with diamond blocks. I mean, just... Boom, look at that. This is exactly how we need it. I love my diamond blocks. Now, clearly he's got to start on top of this. So we're gonna build this opening right here, but this isn't gonna be the main opening. This is just gonna be what I like to call a decoy opening. So he's gonna see it, but not actually see it because I'm gonna make a blatantly obvious entrance for it, but he's gonna have to deal with the consequences because this is, I'm not gonna lie guys, this is me trolling him a little bit. I, I have to have my fun. My, my bad person for this. <laughs> we'll see. So now we're gonna f just fill it up with lava completely. I mean, he says he loves lava, so might as well give him what he wants. However, now it's time to add something called a ghost block. And this is a block that's gonna be very key at the very beginning of this because even though it looks like a diamond block, it doesn't feel like one. So when you walk on it, you're gonna fall right through it. And we all know where this is going. 
right into the lava town. But just to encourage him just a little bit, I, I think I'm gonna add a sign that says, you need to jump. <laughs> am I a terrible person for this? Oh man, I am gonna hear this from my conscience later. We, we talk to each other quite often. Who that is? Well, <laughs> Don't ask. But anyways, we're gonna add this red carpet so it just makes it even more grand. He cannot resist this, guys. He has to go here. I'm making it to where he has no other options. He just will want to go here. He's how many, I mean, let's be real. How often do you get to walk the red carpet? I mean, I would walk this myself if I saw this, guys. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Haha, <laughs> and now it's done. And uh, man, I just know this is gonna bite me in the butt later, but it's funny, it's funny. Leave a comment, guys, if you think this is gonna be funny. I mean, come on, who's with me? All right, all right, but on a serious note, I'm gonna be adding the real entrance right here, and we're gonna use a similar block that we did last time with the ghost blocks, but this time it's like a ghost trap door, and we can disguise it as a diamond block, love that, and then once he goes over here and finds that it's actually the real entrance, we can get things moving right along. You gotta admit, that's pretty clever. So now that Leo has an entrance to this place, we're gonna start out with the first section of our safest hidden house. And if you haven't guessed it already, this next section is gonna be, say it with me, parkour. That's right. So we gotta start it out with the fun parkour. That's just how we do things here. So for the very beginning of this section, I think I'm gonna use some diamond blocks to keep things going smoothly, keep the theme going. And then I'm thinking we add some slime blocks to the next section because that'll just add some pizzazz. It always adds a little bit of pep in his step. If uh, you don't know, I mean that literally because he cannot get a grip on the floor whenever you stand on a slime block. It's, it's impossible. <laughs> but it makes it just that much more entertaining. However, also, we're gonna be using some fake blocks, kind of like how I did on the surface level of this build. So we're gonna incorporate that too here because why not? It just makes it that much more interesting. So the way to utilize this, I was thinking I make a jump that's literally impossible to make. Leo would not be able to make it even if he had some like spring shoes on. He, well, maybe with some spring shoes, but <laughs> definitely not with the equipment that he's gonna have, which is absolutely nothing. So he's gonna miss that jump and we're gonna place some fake lava blocks here, so that way he'll think he's about to be in danger, but really, he'll be fine, because it's fake lava, and he'll be totally fine. And on top of that, since he says he loves lava so much, he can actually swim in it now, guys. I'm actually doing him a huge favor here. Hopefully this is enough to forgive me for the trapdoor that I did at the beginning of the section, but uh, only time will tell, right guys? Moving on to this next section of the safest hidden house, we're gonna add a ladder. I think it adds a nice dissension into the next category we're going into. Which, I'm gonna have to be really quiet about this one, guys. It's gonna be a TNT run. I know, I know. Leo is going to hate me for this. Maybe not hate me. He's a very forgiving guy. However, he does not like TNT runs, guys. And when I say he does not like them, he just cannot deal with it. Like. You even bring up the word TNT and he'll go crazy. Um, Benji, did I just hear you say the word TNT? Uh, uh no, no, I meant, uh, this gum that I'm chewing right now, it's, it's very minty. I, I don't know where you heard TNT. Oh, 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 okay. Wait, do you have a piece for me? I'm, I'm kind of, a. Uh, I think my breath smells a little bad. I'd hate to breathe on you later and, you know, it's, it's just kind of gross. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it, it turns out that that, that might have been my last piece, but, uh, Leo, I, I'm sorry, you know, may, maybe next time. I'll just deal with the breath. It, it's fine. Do not worry about a thing. Okay, <laughs> that's totally okay, Benji. Don't even worry about it. I understand. People run out of gum all the time, but as long as it's not TNT, ooh, I will be okay. Do not even sweat it. Yeah, exactly, Leo. It's not even close to TNT. I wouldn't even think of that. Not in a million years. Not in my dreams. Not even in my nightmares. And that's where you usually see it, right? Am I right? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know why you're being so weird, though. But uh, anyways, keep going with your build. I hope it's going well. It is. And same to you, Leo. Keep on going. I will. All right. Whew, guys, that was way too close. However, I never really explained the whole idea of here, what we're doing with this TNT. He'll have to jump over the TNT if he wants to get to the other side. So hopefully, he's bringing his hops in today because that's what he's gonna have to deal with. 
Now, once he gets to the end of this tunnel right here, he's gonna jump into this pit of water that I'm building, and then he'll be able to safely land down here, and then he'll expect to see this right over here. Two perfectly normal chests. Well, maybe one just isn't so normal. The one on the right is gonna have TNT underneath it, so if he opens that one, he's gonna have a bit of a rude awakening. However, I have faith in Leo. I have a good feeling that he's gonna choose the one on the left. I mean, why would he choose the one on the right? And uh, truthfully, you can kind of tell a little bit because there's a red tint on the right chest and not on the left one. However, we'll just see if he remembers a thing or two from a thing or two. He's still a noob, guys. He's learning. All right, so give him some slack. All right, but now that that TNT trap chest is built, the real chest is gonna have something really helpful in it, AKA diamond armor and a sword. Because let's just say the next room's gonna be a little bit complicated for Leo. And by complicated, I mean there's gonna be a lot of mobs. So <laughs> he's gonna need all the help he can get with these mobs. I mean, I could not do that with a bare fist. I am not Superman. Well, I am flying though. So maybe I'm a little bit like Superman, but not entirely. I don't have his strength, not yet, not today. So, now that you guys know that the next room's gonna involve some mobs, I figured I'd let you know on a little secret. See, the whole theme here is the fake ghost block, so I figured I'd incorporate that into this room as well. Now, most of the time, I add in those pressure plates and you can see them and you're like, oh, the mobs are gonna spawn. No, 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 not this time. Cause this time, those are gonna be invisible blocks. And the way that I'm gonna make those work is I'm gonna connect redstones to dispensers and then I'm gonna put some repeaters in between to strengthen the redstone. So then now, when he steps upon those invisible pressure plates, the zombies and the skeletons are going to spawn. And as a result, things are gonna get a little bit complicated for Leo. But I have faith. Considering the last time that I put Leo up against some mobs, he actually did really well. So I trust him. We'll see what happens. All right, putting the skeleton eggs in there, put the zombie eggs in there. And boom, okay, that section is now completed. Time to move on to the next one. So this next room is going to be parkour again, but it's going to be much harder because this time around, I'm gonna be using iron bars, fences, slime blocks, of course, that's just a given. Those are always hard. And also honey blocks. Haven't messed around with those too much with Leo, but we're gonna see how he does with them because Leo always tells me he wants to improve on his parkour ability, so this can only help his abilities in the future. I already know that, so we'll just see what happens again. Also, naturally, I had to add lava on the floor because Leo is obsessed with lava, as we've already established, but also, I love looking at lava. It's kind of a thing for me. It's hard to explain, but uh, don't ask. Anywho, moving on to the next section. All right, so once Leo completes that really hard parkour, well, I wouldn't say really hard, but kind of complicated, he'll have to jump into this water for safety in order to make it to the next section of the safest hidden house. Now, when he lands in this water, he's gonna be looking at a diamond wall, and he's gonna be thinking, oh my goodness, why am I stuck in a room that looks like an insane asylum? I literally can't see anything. Well, he's kind of right. However, there's a trick to it. You guys know how we've been utilizing the ghost blocks all throughout this build. We're gonna be using secret ghost doors. And these secret ghost doors are gonna be made out of iron doors essentially, but you just can't see them. They're gonna look like diamond blocks. And I know you're wondering, how is he gonna open it? That's simple. I'm gonna use a lever, but not just a normal lever. We're gonna use a ghost lever that looks like a torch. So I'm not just gonna have one torch placed there, that would be too obvious. I'm gonna place a lot of torches, so that way he has to check out all of them, or try to figure out what the torches mean. Which, I'm sure he'll figure it out, right? I trust Leo. So in order to make this work, obviously I'm gonna be using some redstone, and with redstone I'm also gonna use some repeaters. And that will connect the torch that I have, aka the lever, to the iron doors that look like diamond blocks to open, and then he'll be able to go on to the next section. So the next room is not gonna be too complicated. In fact, it's gonna be really quite easy. It's going to be a quiz, but not just any kind of quiz. It's the most important quiz of all time. And you don't wanna get this wrong, cause the last time I heard somebody got this quiz wrong, I never heard from them again. But. Don't worry, I have faith in Leo. I'm pretty sure he'll get this section right. It's honestly the easiest thing ever. Okay, here comes the complicated question on this sign. Will you 
subscribe goodness gracious okay and on this sign the answer is gonna be of course obviously i mean that is the obvious question however some people get this wrong and they put no and they walk through i just don't understand that and then we have the people in the maybe section which you know sometimes you know that's all right we'll accept that but not really because if you walk through it you get it wrong still you gotta go through yes leo please don't fail this i don't want to lose you man Benji, are you doing okay over there? You kind of sound like you're in distress. Oh, uh, <clears throat> me distressed? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Leo. Uh, I'm not distressed at all. <laughs> Are you sure? Because, I mean, I know you don't get distressed about much anything else other than, uh, what was it? It started with an S and people do it on this channel. What was it called? Uh oh, uh, it's nothing, Leo. You, it's, I think it was, uh, sip. Uh, the sip on water, like something like that. Uh, no, no, it wasn't that. Uh. Save it for later, Leo. Trust me. Just, just don't worry about it right now. All right, buddy. It's, it's all good. Don't worry about me. I am all right. Trust me. And the build's going good. Oh, good. I'm happy to hear that. And all right, I'll stop worrying. But uh, my build's just almost done as well, and I just can't wait for you to see it. I'm excited to see it, Leo. All right, we'll keep working. I'll see you soon, bud. All right, I'll see you in like two minutes. All right. Okay. Whew. Leo always almost finds out about what I'm doing, guys, I swear. But he didn't. So we're all good. No worries there. But now for the next real question here. Which block is the best? Now, will Leo get this right? I mean, come on. What other block is better than diamonds? That's clearly the only winner here. If he walks through any other door, I'm going to be disappointed in Leo. And that one's going to last a long time. Trust me. I mean, I'll forgive him eventually, but I'll definitely let this go on for a little longer because, I mean, come on, man. He should know my favorite block is diamonds by this point. Something I haven't mentioned yet is if you do go through the wrong door here, you're going to end up getting hot feet again because you're going to fall right into the pit of lava. It seems a bit harsh, but hey, look, the game is game. And at the end of the day, if you get these two questions wrong, you might just deserve to fall in a pit of lava. All right. I, that, that's what I'm saying. You just you deserve to go in the pit of lava. If you get these two questions wrong, just just jump in like half a swim, literally. However, I have faith that Leo will choose the right questions. And now if Leo can answer those two questions very carefully and the correct way, he can make it to the treasure room. And I know he'll love this treasure room because he loves gold. And every now and then I switch it up for him. But like I said, gold for him just has a special place in his heart. So I just know that he'll love this treasure room. And not only do we get gold blocks in the chest for him, we get gold blocks surrounding the chest. So it looks really grand. And also, we got to add something a little brighter than my future. Glowstone. It always adds that extra zazz that everybody looks for. I love it. And so does Leo, or at least that's what we hope for. And now that all the accessories are finished and it looks really nice and bright and it looks just like a nice treasure room would look like, we're going to add a sign at the very entrance of the treasure room that says, congrats. That way, when he comes in here, he feels really proud of himself. Although I tease and poke at Leo, I really am rooting for him at the end of the day, even if the very beginning of this <laughs> was rigged, <laughs> but we forget. We forget that stuff, right? We forgive and forget. That's what we do on this channel, right guys? We started out this safe house with a bad news red arrow at the very top, and we're ending it with a good news gold arrow. That way, he can feel like he just beat that trap at the very beginning. Now he can feel good about it. See guys, I'm not a terrible person. I had to talk with my conscience, and we're cool now. Things are all looking up. And I just have a feeling that Leo will love this stuff down here, and he might just forgive me. But oh, would you look at the time? I think it's about time that the build's ending, so I'm gonna go check in with Leo and see how things are going for him. Oh, Leo, how are things going over there? Oh, hi, Benji. Um, everything's going great over here. And actually, I'm almost done. I'm just adding some finishing touches and this, that. Oh, well, hurry up, Leo. You have like 10 seconds, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh, <laughs> woo! Okay, that was a close one. I just finished right as you said one. That was so perfect, Benji. All right, heck yeah. Well, I'm gonna head over there now, Leo. I think it's time that I tested out your place. Oh, I think so too. Oh, look what I've got here. I have my signature again. Dirt 
And now I'm just curious, Benji. Which one are you going to go through? <laughs> There's just so many choices that I made. Yeah, Leo. And with that being said, I don't know. I, I'm kind of nervous. I, I, I'm a little bit uncomfortable choosing which wood. I, I don't really know what that means. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Benji. Trust me, just pick one. Don't be such a silly guy. Just choose the one that you think works. Okay, this one in the middle has the sign, so I'm guessing that might be the one that works. I, I don't know. But also, these other ones look good, too. I just can't decide. No, oh, well. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Darn it, Leo. I chose the wrong one. I knew I shouldn't have just went for it like that. Oh, come on, Benji. That was the whole point. You had to make a choice and you just made the wrong decision. But that's okay. That happens like all the time. Ooh, but it looks like you made the right decision now. That wasn't even the third try. You did that on your second try. That's impressive. But now if you look around you, ooh, what do you think this is, Benji? Looks like some parkour to me. And you know I like my lava. Oh, I knew you did, and I also love it too, but I don't really like looking at it. I like feeling it, but I don't really love feeling it because it hurts a little, though. I made it. Oh my goodness, you did! Um, well, anyways, forget what I was saying about the lava. Look right here. You're gonna have to choose one of these colors. And oh my gosh, why did you just walk in there, Benji? What are you doing? Uh, I, I don't know. I just thought that I'd try it. Why not just try? They're Two choices. Obviously, it's 50-50. Well, Benji, that ruined the whole point. You were supposed to know my favorite color. You just walked into purple. Oh, it was supposed to be your favorite color? I thought it was supposed to be my favorite color. No, silly. That's why it's in my build. If it was in your build, maybe it would have been the purple. But no, it was supposed to be yellow. But look, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You respawned. We can move on to the next section. Whoa. Why are there so many silverfish down there, Leo? What's the deal with that? Oh, those are called silverfish? I, I thought those were like rats or something. <laughs> no, Leo, we don't even have rats in Minecraft. But honestly, they're pretty close. That's true, but now you're going to have to fight them with your bare hands. And how are you going to do that? I'm going to use this sword that you have in this chest that you have hidden. What? How did you know that I had a chest hidden? You weren't supposed to figure that out so quickly. Come on, Leo, you're talking to a pro here. Come on. <laughs> That's true. Well, good luck down there. That's a lot of silverfish. I would be personally scared if I were you, but I trust you, Benji. You're, like, really good with a sword. Well, even though I am kind of good with a sword, thank you, by the way, I am a little bit afraid of these things. They're, like, giant versions of those great dots and dirt blocks. But it's okay. I actually, I defeated them. They're gone now. Yeah, you did. Good job. I basically knew that they looked like those little dots in the dirt blocks. That's why that I showed those to you, because I knew that it would conquer your fear a little bit. But, uh, anywho, um, it's moving on time to the next room. And if you look in front of you, you're gonna see that everything around you looks kind of, uh, pressure platey. Oh, you don't say. I just walked forward and all of the TNT dropped to the floor. Come on, Leo. This is light work for me! Uh, 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 uh. Dang, you, you actually caught me with that. I, I can't believe it. Well, I've been doing some upgrading. I don't know if you noticed, Benji, but this is probably the biggest TNT floor that I've ever made. Honestly, yeah. Now that you say that, this room is really big and honestly, truthfully, more confusing than ever. Wow, thank you. Well, good luck. It seems like you're struggling a little bit, but uh, honestly, I think you're doing pretty good, considering the circumstances, at least. I'm kidding. This is light work. I'm not even breaking a sweat. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I can't believe that I just fell again. Leo, I'm so impressed right now. Good job. Oh my goodness, thank you. Well, would you even go to say that I'm becoming a pro? Whoa, 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 calm down, Leo. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that you are improving. And this is giving me a little bit of a, a hard time, so I can't ignore that credit. Oh, well, okay, I'll take it. That's an improvement and a step in the right direction. Exactly. See, that's the spirit, Leo. Keep that mindset. I love it. Now, I just need to get through this TNT floor. Okay, I'm right here. I'm about to go through. Haha! -ha! I did it, Leo. Oh my gosh, you did! <laughs> to the end of the room already? Oh my gosh! This looks so awesome! You really like it? And look, it's purple, just like you like it! And also, check out this chest! Oh! No way, you got these? I literally love these! Thank you so much, Leo! 
Woohoo! This is awesome! Leo, this is one of my favorite builds that you've ever done. Honestly, this was so fun, and I had such a tough time on that TNT section. So, honestly, good job. Oh, thank you so much! I just can't wait to see yours now! Alright, I mean, if you're ready, without further ado, let's just get over there, right? Yes, I agree, let's go! Alright, Leo, we're here at my build. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I think that I see a good arrow pointing to maybe a place that I need to go. I don't know, Benji. I think I should go over there. What do you think? I think you should. I don't know. Do what you think feels right. Hmm, you need to jump. Okay, jump like this? Um, okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a try. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Leo, did you like what you saw? I mean, like, I do like lava, and I did feel that, and I did kind of enjoy that, but, uh, it hurt, though. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Leo. Look, look, uh, are you mad at me? I mean, honestly, no, I'm not too mad, because it kind of was fun. <laughs> but where do I go to enter? There's, like, nowhere else, no signs around here, like, nothing. There's just diamond blocks. Well, you're gonna have to try and test things out. Oh, oh my gosh, I think I just found it. Oh my god, Leo, it looks like you did. You can go ahead and go in now. Check it out. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Oh, there's no way. You got me lava again. Oh, you know me so well. Well, you know me and my lava. I always got to have it. You're so right. All right. Oh, I'm guessing this is the parkour section. And your guess is correct. All right, Leo. Good luck. Oh, luck isn't needed. I'm like a pro at this. A pro, you say, huh? All right, well, we'll just have to see about that. <laughs> yeah, we will. Watch this. Huh. Uh, uh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Benji, what was that? That block was impossible. I wasn't even able to go on it. I just passed right through. Well, Leo, there's more than one way to go. You got to try multiple ways. I mean, I guess you're right about that. There is this slime block. Oh, whoa, I got some major height right there. Yeah, good job. You really utilized the slime block. I know. Ever since that I've walked in here, I feel like I've been gaining so much experience. This is awesome. All right. I just got to jump all the way to that block. I can totally do that. Three, two, one. Oh, oh wait. Oh, my gosh, Benji. I'm not dying. This is so sick. I've always wanted to be in lava like this. I'm like feeling it and I'm not burning. This is great. I knew you would love this area, Leo, because I knew that you just wanted to touch the texture of lava without actually dying. Yeah, exactly. That was like perfect. All right. What's next? Uh-oh. Benji, please don't tell me that's what I think it is. Okay, Leo, I know you don't like TNT, but trust me, this is how you get over your fear. You got to just do it. Oh, you're right. And I totally just jumped over that one clean. Oh, I got to be very careful. That one was very thin. Now, do I just go there? Maybe jump right across? No, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so close. Ow, my legs. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh man, that that just was not supposed to happen. Wow, there, there's a major flaw in my build. I'm so sorry. Leo, that was just not supposed to happen. Please forgive me. Oh, that's okay, Benji. Listen, we all make mistakes. And I definitely made a mistake like that one last time. Uh, Leo? Yeah, Benji? Ow! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, that freaked me out so hard. You didn't tell me there was gonna be TNT, Benji, like that? Oh, oh, man. Okay, I'm sorry, Leo, but listen, you survived. That's the main part here. But listen, that really wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't know it was gonna explode the chest on the left. But, uh, here you go. I'll just give you your stuff that you were supposed to get now. Ooh, thank you! This is some heavy-duty armor! Of course, Leo. You needed it for this section. Oh, I already know what this section is! Bring it on! I'm like a pro with this! Yeah, yeah! Oh, skeletons! Remember me? The Victor? That's me! I'm here again! Oh, oh, it still hurts the same, though! Wow! I did it, Benji! Wow, you really did. You did that fairly quickly, too. Good job, Leo. I'm really impressed with you. Thank you. That means so much to me. Oh, oh my gosh. Why did another one spawn like that? Oh, come on. It was just for fun. Plus, you totally had it. 
Yeah, you're right. Ooh, what's this? You might already have a sneaking suspicion, but it's more parkour. The difference here, Leo, is that the one earlier was a little bit easier. This one, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit challenging, Leo. I hope you could do it. Hope I can do it? Come on! Where's the faith? I'm a pro at parkour! Do you know who you're talking to, Benji? Come on! I mean, Leo, come on now. Just look at the title. You're you're the noob. We, we all know that you're not actually a pro at this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just watch! Ow! 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 Oh, man, that just wasn't fair, Benji. You knew that there wasn't any blocks there to step on, now didn't you? Okay, I did, Leo, but that's the whole point. This whole theme, I don't know if you've realized it yet, but we've been using a lot of ghost blocks. Is that what that was? Oh, you know what? I think you're right, because I had some of those in my build. I just didn't really realize that's what they were called. I was just placing down random blocks. <laughs> oh, Leo. <laughs> you know me. Mmm, that block tasted good back there, by the way. What was that? Oh, that... That was a honey block. D don't tell me you've never seen one of those before. No, that was like the first time me experiencing God! Oh, 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 it hurts, but it kind of feels good because I like the texture, but it doesn't feel great. Oh, but I'm so close to the block. Oh, what now? What now? Oh, come on. Oh. Don't worry, Lee. I'm going to respawn you right here. Second try. Here you go. All right, here I go. Oh, here we go. Oh, so easy. I knew I could do that. That was so simple. I mean, I guess you did do it on the second try. And, you know, second try, sometimes that's all you need. That's right. I enjoy it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was close. I almost missed that water. <laughs> but ooh, look at all these torches in here. This is so cool and lit up. But, uh, did I win, Benji? There's, like, nothing in here. <laughs> um, like, you didn't give me a chest this time? No, no, we're not at the end yet, Leo. Look, you just have to look around and try to find a way. There's something in here. Think of the blocks that we've been using recently. What do you think I would do with those blocks in this type of situation? It's over here. Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, there are a lot of torches in here. Maybe that has something to do with something? I don't know, Leo. What does it mean? Does it mean something? Oh, come on, Benji. Just give me a clue. I'm going to be stuck in here forever. Ooh, these do look slightly different colored, though. Hmm, maybe these are something different. But then if they are something different, how do I open that said something different? That's a good question, Leo. See, now you're asking the right questions. Hmm. I'm just going to start tapping all of these torches. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Is that it? Oh, I found it, Benji. I found it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. That's it. You did it, Leo. Now, you're at the very last step. This is a very important quiz section. Now, will you subscribe? Hmm, of course. I mean, who wouldn't? This is like the best channel ever. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Now, the next quiz. Which is the best block, Leo? Hmm, I really love dirt. Oh, 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 but this is the best block, Benji. What do you mean? Nah, nah, uh, uh. remember? It's not your favorite color. It's my favorite color because I built it. See, that's how you did it, right? Oh, man, I guess you're right. Diamond blocks it is. Honestly, I like diamond blocks too, Benji, so I don't blame you. Leo, you know what that sign means. No way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at all this gold. Oh, my goodness. I love this. Benji, you always know what to get me. Thank you so much. I can't believe that I made it here again. Yeah, and you know what? You earned it, Leo, because I know that you struggled and I put you through the ringer. I mean, I was trolling you here and there, and you still had high spirits. Good job, Leo. You did a great job, and I hope you enjoy all your gold. Oh, I definitely will. Till next time, Leo. Till next time, Benji. Hi, Leo. Hi, Benji. What are we going to be doing today? It's so hot outside. I just wish there was a way to cool off. Well, lucky for you, guess what we're doing today? We are going to be doing the Super Water Park Build Challenge. What? Oh my gosh, that's going to be so awesome. Oh, it's perfect. It's just what the weather needed today. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's like 100 degrees outside. This will be perfect. Yes, I'm so excited. I already know what I'm going to make. It's going to be the most exquisite water park you've ever seen. Oh, okay. That sounds promising. But Leo, do you remember that one time that we went to space together? Boy, do I! How can I ever forget that? Okay, cool. So you remember the water park that we went to then? 
Oh, that water park? That place was so cool. Okay, but before I go on with this, go ahead and sit in this boat. We're just going to chill out and just have some boat talk, you know? Ooh, okay, I love boat talk. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fun in here. Okay, but remember the space station where they had that really cool water park and everything. Well, I'm basically going to be referencing that one for the one that I'm going to be building. But that's all I'm going to say, okay? Good luck to you, Leo. We're going to start this. We have an hour to build this now because this is going to be an intensive build for me a little bit. So, an hour. An hour? Oh my goodness, that's so much time. I'm going to make the best water park the world has ever seen. And it most importantly is going to be yours. Oh, I hear you, but just keep on dreaming, buddy. All right, you'll see. We're going to see who comes out on top with the best water park. And honestly... You should be excited because this is going to be a fun one. Oh, I'm definitely excited, but it won't even come close to mine. But good luck, Benji. Right back at you, Leo. So starting off my build here, you guys can see that I'm not using purple blocks. I know that was the last time, but just know this time I want it to look like a clean water park. I don't want it to look like it has some sort of, you know, you know, diseases or something like that. Not saying that purple has diseases. Oh my gosh, I'd never say that about purple. But, you know, we wanted to have a nice clean cut look and what better way to do that than with court blocks. But first up, we're going to be building some parkour here as you may see what I'm doing. I have some ladders he's going to have to jump to, jump right, jump left, jump up, you know, whatever the things that I'm doing here is. And then, once that's all done, he's going to go on to this next section where he's going to have to make a decision. So we'll go ahead and get to that point. Oh, yeah, and something I thought would be ironic and funny is if, you know, we're in a water park right now, and if he falls, he's going to fall into a desert. So it would just kind of be really ironic if he, you know, there's a water park right in front of him, and if he falls on the parkour, he's going to fall into the desert, and he won't get to the water park. So it's just kind of a funny play-on-play -play thing, you know? So if he falls, hopefully he doesn't, but if he does, he's going to be bricked by a cactus. But moving on to the next section. All right, and now that we're done with the parkour section, now we're going to have a bit of hygiene trivia for Leo. The question's going to be, should you shower before going to a public water park? Now, see, usually the answer would be obvious, right? But I know Leo, and something tells me that he's going to choose the answer that might not correlate with what other people might say. And what that answer is, we'll have to find out together, right? So, uh, to be determined. But however... Once Leo goes through the right door that says yes, it's going to have a shower in there, which once he presses this button, it's going to drop water, and then Leo can swim up that water, and it'll take him to the next part of this build that I'm going to do, which I kind of been thinking it through, and I want to have a purple tunnel. I know, I'm finally going to have some purple in there, guys. This is going to be awesome. And I'm thinking once Leo gets in there, I'm going to supply him with a boat, and then after that, let me explain. Boom, see right here, here's the boat, and then this is the tunnel that I've built so far. It honestly, I really love this design. It kind of reminds me of like Dr. Seuss's hat or something, but with purple colors, because that's just so superior. But also, I was just going to say, this is also similar to how that space station water park looked up there. So when Leo sees this, he is going to freak out. Hey, Benji. Uh, yeah, Leo. Um, did I hear you say that I'm going to be freaking out? Uh, no, 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 you, you heard that I'm going to be pigging out because I'm out here eating a potluck with some friends later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that makes so much more sense. I know you didn't want to see me in pain or freak out or anything like that. You would never want that on me, right? Right, Leo, come on now, I would never do that to you. <laughs> You're right, all right, good luck with your build, Benji, keep up the good work. Hey, right back at you, buddy. All right, see you in a little while. See ya! That poor, poor, poor soul. He just has no idea. But I mean, come on, it's not that big of a deal, guys. He's not gonna freak out because of a bad thing. He's gonna freak out because he's gonna be so excited. Anyways, I digress. Moving on to the next section. All right, so eventually this purple tunnel is gonna lead Leo to this area right here, which is going to have three choices for him to make. One choice is going to be a magenta tunnel. The other choice is going to be a cyan tunnel. And the last choice on the right is going to be a yellow tunnel. Obviously, we all have a prediction on which area Leo's gonna go in first. Leo loves yellow, so naturally, he's probably gonna go to the yellow one first, because since purple's there, he's not gonna predict that I wanted it to be my color, and once he goes into the yellow section, he'll find out that it's just a pool of lava. Sorry, Leo. 
But yeah, if he goes to the Cyan Tunnel, which I'm assuming may be his next choice just because it's in the middle and it might look more appealing that way, he's going to be met with some spiked fish that are going to shoot lasers at him. So let's just hope he doesn't choose that way because he's not going to be happy. Anywho, if he goes to the Magenta Tunnel, that's going to be the right choice and that's going to lead him to the right section, which I'm going to move on to right now. So let's go ahead and move on. So now, assuming that Leo has chosen the right way, which was the purple tunnel, he's going to fall down into this pit, which is going to have barrels like I'm adding right now. And we're going to also put some seaweed in there just to get him a little bit frustrated that there's nothing valuable in each of these barrels. However, there's going to be one more valuable item in these barrels besides seaweed that is going to be a fishing rod. Now, you might be asking, what is that fishing rod going to be used for? Well, it's quite simple. We're going to have target blocks in here alongside all the barrels and all the seaweed and all that. So once he uses the fishing rod on them, it could activate something a little bit awesome. And that awesome thing is going to be the next section. So hopefully he chooses the right one. And I'm going to explain how I'm going to make all this redstone work here in just a second. All right, cool. So. The hatch that I'm going to have is going to be made of super glue connecting the block together into a singular moving object, which it's going to be moved by a mechanical sticky piston and then sequenced by a gear shift and a motor. Once he goes through this hatch though, and he eventually finds the right, you know, target block at the bottom of this hole, there's going to be magma blocks. So if he doesn't make it through this little section, that's going to drag him down towards the bottom where there's going to be an opening. He, if he misses it, he's going to hit those magma blocks and he's probably going to die from that. So hopefully he can make it in between the magma blocks and make it through the section that he's supposed to get to, but only time will tell. But now moving on to the next section. In this next section, after he makes it through this opening down here, he's going to be met with a corridor, and the corridor is going to have a few entrances that lead to a water maze. I know, we get more mazes, this is just how we do here. Every entrance on the right side is going to be loops that makes him suffocate a little bit, so I'm sorry in advance, Leo, but just know it's nothing personal, it's strictly content. Guys, please subscribe for Leo, he's always going through all these hardships, and I just feel like subscribing will make him feel just so much better. Alrighty, I got the corridor built and now I'm gonna build the entire maze. I'll be right back. Alrighty, adding some signs to the exit of the maze now, finishing it up, and boom, there we go. Now it's time to move on to the next area and you guys will see the maze later on. It'll be really cool seeing him go through it, at least, you know, for the first time. I think that'll be better. But now what I'm gonna be building is a corridor filled with paintings on the walls. That's why I have all of these signs over there. And then in the very middle of this room, there's going to be a very ominous chest just sitting there. Now, why I say ominous is because there's going to be a uh, trap on it, meaning once it's opened, it will push the signs that are suspending paintings, collapsing everything and revealing the fish tanks behind them filled with drowned zombies. So you got to be careful, Leo. Just saying. But inside this trapped chest is going to be some golden armor, a diamond sword, and a shield, and also some golden apples, and a boat to escape with. That is very key, because if he doesn't escape, he's, you know, he's gonna die. <laughs> so, subscribe and that makes his chances of escaping much higher. However, if he does manage to make it out, he's going to go down this green slide that's gonna take him down to this very last area. Alright! Guys, I finished the last green slide and then we're gonna leave that a secret for now. But as you can see, I made his Oasis of Glory and that's basically the treasure room. But I thought Oasis of Glory was cooler because there's water here. So now I think it's time we head over to Leo's. <laughs> All right, Leo, are you ready? Time's up. Oh, okay, finally, I've been ready for you for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? You got finished early? <laughs> okay. But Leo, it's extremely hot outside, so when can I start? I, I really want to experience this water park action, you know? It's, it's, uh, I'm scorching up right now. I'm scorching up. Of course. So where you're going to want to go is right up those ladders right behind me. And then once you get up there, some things are going to really escalate. And hopefully the sun rays will stop hurting you because you'll be able to touch my purified cold water. Oh, it's going to be such a delightful experience. All right, let's get started and- Oh yeah, don't forget this steak. 
Oh, yep, you're totally right. Who knows if I'm ever going to need to, you know, revitalize myself with these type of challenges we do. It kind of comes with the territory. I know. Oh, man, just a couple of times that I've thought about have made me scared out of my mind. But don't worry. It's not going to be that bad today. All right. So uh, what's going on here, Leo? W what am I supposed to do here? We got a boat and some water and I'm blocked off here. So what's the deal with that? For sure. So there's a lever right there and you're just going to want to sit in the boat. Yep, like that. Press that lever all the way down, and there you go! Isn't that so fun? Uh, I mean, not really. What? You didn't enjoy that? I mean, no. I mean, Leo, it was underwhelming. There wasn't anything really going on. The slide was about, like, two yards long. I mean, what did you expect? Oh, well, don't worry about that. It's gonna get way better from here. Just you wait. All right, uh, I'm gonna be waiting, all right, but hey, it, it's still a water park, and I'm in this water, so at the very least, you're doing that for me. Yeah, yeah, keep climbing that ladder, bub. Bub? Who are you calling a bub? Hey, at least I'm the pro, okay? I think that's what you meant to say. Pro schmo, enjoy that sweltering heat on that ladder. I mean, <clears throat> anyways, I hope you're enjoying yourself in my water park, and this next section is going to be really fun. Uh, okay, Leo, I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't hear that really untasteful remark that you just said, and we'll just move on with our day. <laughs> exactly! Um, but you're going down the wrong slide, Benji, that one's purple, and you know how it works here. Darn it, you're so right. Ah, oh, well, oh well. I'll just respawn back up there, and we'll just try that one more time. How could I forget that? I was thinking the same thing. I mean, I swear, we just went over this last episode. And the one before, and the one before that, and- Okay, I understand, Leo. Calm down. So, just down this yellow slide right here? Yes, that's the one! Okay, cool. Going down. Um, Leo, what are you doing? That's not yellow! Oh, yeah, you're right. I just tried to go against you one more time to see what would happen, but clearly that was the wrong choice. Yeah, obviously. I mean, I literally just told you that the right answer was yellow. You did this last episode too, Benji. Come on. Okay, you're right. Okay, it's time I go down the yellow slide. I'll go down. Okay, I'll humor you. The yellow slide. This is the best one, right? Well, it's not even that it's just the best one, which it totally is, by the way. It's just the one that you need to go down because that's the right path. And you want to keep progressing, don't you? Yes, I guess I do. All right, but I'm not sliding down normally. Come on, Benji, just go down it. Don't you want to cool off from all this sweltering heat? Oh, you're right. Okay. We. this is so fun. I love this right now. I'm really enjoying myself. Woohoo, yeah. That's the spirit? Aren't you enjoying my lovely pool oasis? <laughs> That's honestly been the highlight. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to take that as a compliment. Good, good, good. Do what you want with that. Thank you. All right. So what's going on with this next section here? <laughs> so I'm so glad that you asked that. So, it's boat parkour. Remember how you did that railroad parkour for me last time and I had to go inside of the minecart? Yeah, this is the same concept, except you have to jump into the boats. Uh, okay, I think I get it. So, uh, like this? <laughs> yep, just like that. <laughs> okay, so now I just go to... There, all right, let me go to that boat. Okay, whoa, that was close. It sure was. Oh, but how are you gonna get there? Uh, clearly I gotta jump, Leo, like this, watch. Okay, this is a pro at work. Ha <laughs> ha! What the, you did that on your first try? Obviously, come on, look who you're talking to right now. Okay, but this one's a little bit far. I could totally do it though. Oh no! Oh, oh man, I... <laughs> I could have lived that, honestly, if I didn't step to the left. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll just respawn you right back over here. Cool. Okay, second time's a charm, right? <laughs> I guess that's the saying. I know it's not, but oh my god. Okay, okay. Spawn me one more time, Leo. This is the one. I'm already on it. Okay, here we go. Gonna make it to this one. It's not that hard. Come on. Oh, darn it. Okay, okay. Oh, this is the one, Leo. Check this out. <laughs> Okay, I believe you. Yes, you should, because this is the one. Watch this, okay? Watch this. Mark my words. Haha, -ha, see? Look at that, you did! And now you gotta just make it to the last one. 
Oh, I did it, Leo. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. You totally did it. Now look down there. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, Leo, I think we have a problem. There's a creeper sunbathing in your pool. Huh? What? Uh, when did that get there? Ew. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of cool, but I, I have no idea how this got here, Benji. What in the world? <laughs> Okay, well, let's just pay no mind to that. That's weird, but you know what? Let's just let him do him, and as long as he's not- Oh my gosh, he's harming things. Let's just go. Hurry, we gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, well, enjoy your treasure room. I hope you like the purple. You know that I know you're five now, but uh, <laughs> we need to get rid of this creeper ASAP. It's kind of creeping me out. I know. Okay, thank you, Leo. This is a fantastic. You did a fantastic job. Now, let me just look through these chests and see what you got for me. Hoo -hoo! You know I love these. All right, so uh, how about we go over to my place now, right? Just get away from that sunbathing creeper before he explodes us. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go ahead and get over there <laughs> right now because he just looks like he's about to do something else. Yeah, I totally agree. Oh my goodness. Yep, we need to get out of here. All right, Leo, let's go. I'm already on it. Me too. Okay, Leo, wait, hold on. Close your eyes before you get there before me because you're flying and I'm running. Oh, okay. I'll close my eyes and I won't even see until you get here. Good, 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 because I want you to be surprised. It's, it's pretty awesome and I'm very proud of this build, so... Just be prepared. All right, Leo, remember the space station? Oh my gosh, it looks just like it. This is so sick. I just knew you'd like it because the last time we went to the space station water park, we both had a blast and I really wanted to recreate that for both me and you. Even though I'm not going to experience it, you get to see it again and I get to experience it through you. Totally. And look at this. I'm totally doing this parkour. Just as you've been explaining it, I've been doing this ladder parkour so easily. Oh, I've been getting really good at it, don't you think? Uh, no, not really. Uh, what? You don't think I'm getting better at this ladder parkour, Benji? I'm not even falling. It's not like I'm falling or anything. Well, yeah, you haven't fallen yet. Watch, just wait and see. You'll fall on one of these blocks. Just you wait. Oh, yeah, like I would do that. Oh, my gosh. And there it is. <laughs> Whatever, Benji. Okay, well, now it's on. I'm going to make it the rest of this parkour and this entire course without dying. Right, right. And I'm going to just exist without breathing. Uh-huh. Yeah, I totally hear that. <laughs> okay, whatever. Watch. That did not help your case. You know what? Just just forget about it, okay? I'm just going to do it at my own pace, okay? Because that's what this is all about. I just have to do it at my own pace, and I'll get it eventually, okay? That's how we do things here. Right. So, uh, please just make it here. It's not that difficult, man. Benji, look. I was just testing your patience earlier. I know I can actually do this. You see, this is nothing to me. Now that I go here, I jump there, and there... Come on, Leo. No need to over-impress. Just keep trying. Benji, I'm not trying to over-impress. I just think that I am that good. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you, you totally are. Now, okay, I'll respawn you here, and you can keep going and show me how really good you are, all right? All right, keep going, bud. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Watch. This is nothing to me. Jump there. And jump right here. Hoo-hoo! And now I'm off to the next section. You saw that? Now what do I do? All right, so if you look up here, you're going to be tasked with an easy question. Now, should you shower before you go to a water park? Obviously, the answer is no, because I'm going to be going into the water. So why would I need to go take a shower before a water park? Because the water park water cleans me myself. You need to shower before you go to a water park, Leo. Don't be gross. I'm not changing my answer. I will stay no before I- Ow! 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 Why would you do that? Ow! Because you need to shower before you go to a water park, Leo. That is just what you should do. That's disgusting. Oh, whatever. I don't agree with you, but I'm gonna go through the yes door just because this is the right way to go. Okay, well, you know what? That's a step in the right direction. Quite literally. Yeah, but uh, what am I looking at, Benji? So this was supposed to be a shower, and you're gonna have to go in there, and it's gonna lift you up. And, uh, 
Just know you have to shower before you go to my water park. All right. Just get in the shower. No, I refuse. I don't want to go in the shower. Leo, come on. If you don't get in the shower, you're not going to be able to go to my water park. And don't you want to have fun and cool off today? Oh, whatever. Just get it over with and lift me up. Whoa, why am I going up so fast? This is so cool. I totally forgot it was even a shower. Honestly, I wouldn't even clarify it as a shower because it was so fun. See, now just listen to me for the remainder of this trip, and this will be a really cool experience for you, Leo, okay? Okay, you're right. All right, so where do I go now? Just through this tunnel right here? Yep, just go down that tunnel, and then from there we'll have to make a decision, but uh, you'll make that decision when you see it. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy the atmosphere. Don't you like the purple color everywhere? Eh, it's all right. I mean, it, it could be something a little, like, different. Leo, I swear, don't say yellow. Well, I mean, it, I, I, was, I was just going to say yellow, but... Oh, wait, is that a yellow tunnel right there to the right? Oh, I just have to go in there. Wait, but don't you want to check out the other tunnels first, Leo? I mean, come on, there's so many more choices. No, 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 this is the right one. It has to be. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Ah! Yeah, Leo, I, I definitely set you up for this one. I, I kind of had a feeling you would choose the yellow one. That's, that's why I made it there. Oh, darn it, Benji. Today is just not my day now, is it? I guess not, but man, don't worry about it. Look, you have another two choices to make, so uh, which one do you think it is other than the yellow? Because obviously, you know, it's not the yellow one. Well, I'm just going to have to try the cyan colored one now, aren't I? All right. Oh, this looks better. Wait a minute. What are those things? Those don't look healthy. Ah! Yep, nope. Leo, that wasn't the right way either. It looks like you have one more choice that's left, though. Oh, and would you look at that? It's the purple tunnel, Leo. Who would have guessed it? On my build? What? Nah, it couldn't be true. Oh, Benji, Benji, Benji. All right, well, I'll go through it. Oh, okay, wee! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, okay, this is right. What am I supposed to do in here, Benji? So, if you look down, you'll see that there's, uh, some peculiar barrels just hidden below. I would maybe check those out. Might be promising. Okay! Swimming down, opening this barrel. Ugh, there was just seaweed in there. Seaweed is so useless. Hey, come on, don't talk about seaweed like that. They have friends and family. What? No, they don't. They're just seaweed. Yeah, they're just seaweed, but those just seaweed might have family and friends that you didn't know about, okay? I, maybe that I don't even know about. I have no idea what you're talking about, Benji, but I found this fishing rod, and now I need to know what I need to do with it. All right, so if you look around, you might find something. Okay, you found it. Would you look at that? Now, where do you need to go, Leo? That's the question. Oh, wait, something totally opened up down there. I think I need to go over through that. Okay, I, you know what? Use your own judgment. I think you might be onto something. Let's go! Woohoo! Wait a minute! No, no, no! I totally missed it! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! Darn it! Oh man! You know what? I'm, I'm kind of used to it at this point. But I'll respawn and I'll go through the right section. I know I can do this. It's, it's right there. I mean, I, I kind of just goofed a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, I did it on purpose. I had a feeling you'd miss it. <laughs> So you wanted me to suffer like that? Oh, come on. You're not suffering, are you, Leo? It's just a little bit of stings, you know? It's not too crazy. We just respawn over and over. Yeah, I guess you're right, but oh, I totally missed it again. Well, you know what they say. Third time's the charm, right? Maybe you'll get it on the third try. Yeah, you're right. I might just get it on my third try. Well, let's see. Respawn you in, and all right, good luck. I don't need luck. I already know I'm going to make it on my third try just because of the scenario. How can I miss it on my third try? Look at this. <laughs> I totally did it, Benji. Oh, oh, this is cool. Look at this. First of all, good job. You did totally do it. And now uh, figure out which one you want to go through. Which one I want to go through? Hmm. Well, there's not really a hint on which one in particular. So should I just choose any of them? Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, wait, this is formatted like a maze, Benji. Wait a minute. Is this a maze? Oh, and I'm trapped underwater. Oh, no, I'm starting to lose breath. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Am I, though? Oh, oh, no, I definitely am. Oh, no, Benji. Oh, good thing I made it back. That would have been really scary. 
Yeah, sorry about that. I should have told you it was a maze, but I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. And oh, look at that. You totally made it out. <laughs> I totally did. Oh, oh, and I'm so glad too. It was so scary in there. But what am I looking at, Benji? This is cool. It's like art everywhere that I look and I'm just so excited. Oh, but why is there an ominous chest here? Right. So let me explain. Basically, yes, and you'll find out. Okay, so just this chest right here in front of me, like right, right there. Yep, that that's it, man. Oh, okay, uh, sounds good to me. Let me just open this chest. Oh, cool. Look at these items and yeah, look around you. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Yep, yep, yep. There's a lot of those zombies now. Uh, sorry about that. I I, th I thought this would be funnier. Now I just feel bad. As you should. That was so rude of you. Oh, all in good taste, though, Leo, right? Come on. Oh, yeah, I guess, but I need to make it through all these gargling weirdos. <sighs> hey, come on, that's nothing that you need to call them, all right? They have families, too. Well, they did. Yes, exactly. Focus on they did have families. I have families right now that I have to take care of, Benji. So let me just get through these people on a boat. <laughs> hey, look at this. All right, look at you. Look at that. This is so cool. And guess what? This is the very last slide that you have to go down. Whoa, and what does that say? S-U-B says... Oh, wait, does that say subscribe? That's right. And hey, look, guys, if you're watching right now, if you subscribe, a slip and slide could appear on your doorstep. Who knows? Whoa, really? Is that true, Benji? Well, I'm not the subscriber gods, but that's what they told me. So we'll see. Oh, okay, but also, did I just complete it all? Did I win? <laughs> yeah, you totally did, and look around you. I made you a oasis with tons of gold everywhere. Oh, it's so awesome in here, and I love the glowstone. It, it makes me feel like something, like, it, like it's brighter than my future. Wait, you seriously feel the same way about glowstone as I do? Wait, don't look now. Oh my gosh, it followed me down here? Oh, wait, wait, I still have a weapon. I can defend myself. Oh, but this water makes it really difficult. Oh no. What do I do, Benji? Uh, okay, let me supply something. Hold on, give me one second. Uh, da 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 da. Hurry up! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Jeez, okay, let's, let's fix this. Oh wait, is he going back up? Oh, he's totally leaving. Oh, good. Now I can finally enjoy my riches. Hi, Leo. Hi, Benji. So, real quick, Leo, I'm just kind of curious. Do I look different today? Um, I mean, you look the same as you always do, but, uh, why? Oh, no particular reason, Leo. I just wanted to make sure, because, man, I do not want to look different. I'm always purple. Come on, I gotta rep it. Anyways, today we're going to be doing the ultimate secret village challenge, and whoever can make the best village wins. How do you think about that, Leo? Did you say secret village? Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to make a secret village my whole life because you know those people with the giant noses? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, those people inspire me so much. They always build the best villages, but this time it's going to be me. Okay, Leo, calm down. Remember, I'm still here. You have to compete against me, man. I know, but <laughs> I can always try. I can always try. That's true. That's very true. And try you will. But all right, Leo, it's time to get started. Are you ready? You got 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Oh my goodness. Does it start right now? Yep, it starts right now, Leo. Let's get busy. You're on. All righty, first things first, I got to bring out the world edit axe. Absolutely. This is a must have for the build process. And now we're going to be pasting in some buildings that I found while waking up this morning. It was a bit of an experience, really, but just consider it our version of the Wall Street in New York City. And now for the second building that I'm pasting in, consider this a little piece of Brooklyn. Gotta bring in the bricks. I also thought it would be cool to bring in a little bit of a school vibe. It gives me those. I don't know what it brings to you, but for me, that's what I see, and I think it's cool. We're rolling with it. But uh, now I feel a little bit bad because I didn't really build these skyscrapers. So with that being said, I'm going to build two skyscrapers by myself using World Edit. I'll be right back, guys. All right, the two skyscrapers that I added personally are finished now, and now I can move on to the next part of what I wanted to add, which is a better entrance. I want it to feel a little bit more welcoming. Maybe add a little bit more windows, too, to these previous buildings that I pasted in, because something tells me it just needs a little bit more pizzazz. 
Da da da, add some fences. I added some gravel just a second ago. And da da da. And boom! Da da da. Now that is an entrance if I've ever seen one myself. Maybe add a little bit of blue flowers too. Gives it a little bit of a home vibe. So, guys, I really like this interior, but something just doesn't feel right. I think I know what to do. I'm gonna add a giant hole in this thing. And boom! Now that is more like it. Now that I have this giant hole, you're probably wondering what I'm doing with it. The answer is simple. Parkour! Of course I have to have a parkour area in the section. This is just how we do things here, everybody. Plus, Leo really enjoys it. Right, Leo? Um, what was that, Benji? I'm so sorry, I could barely hear you over my build being better. Whoa, you're coming at me like that, Leo? Come on. I was just telling them how much you love parkour, but now that you said that, Leo, it's on. Oh, it better be, Benji, because if you don't bring it, oh, my build's just gonna be better, and then they might just start calling me the pro. Ha ha ha, keep dreaming, Leo, come on. Although I will say, your past builds these past couple of episodes have been pretty darn good. See? I'm already getting into your head. Alright, alright, Leo. Calm down. Keep on building, bud. Alright, alright. You're right, you're right. And I don't even know what I just said right there. That was weird. I just got, like, mind-controlled, Benji. I would never say something like that. I think that, I think that this village is getting to me. I don't know what it is. But, uh, good luck! Good luck, Leo. I know you got it. Just calm down. Uh, anywho. For this parkour section, I wanted to add some simple jumps mixed with fences and normal blocks and also a little bit of iron bars. For this fence section, we're gonna light it up with some glowstone. You know how it goes. The glowstone's brighter than my future. But it's all good because at least it looks good. Now that we're adding these iron bars, I thought it would be cool to mention the reason I have all these colors going on, like the iron bars and everything like that, it's because I thought it would be a cool aesthetic. Everything matches each other. If you look around, it's all kind of white, bright, and clean. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to go for, because once you fall into the lava underneath that I'm going to add here soon, it's not going to be very bright, light, or clean. But I digress. Moving on to the next section. First, let's add in that lava. Boom! Isn't it just a beauty? Man, I love looking at lava. All right, now moving on to the next section. <laughs> now right here, I'm gonna add an invisible wall. Leo will not be able to see this, but I'm putting it here so that way, if he does try to jump to the very end, he will not be able to. He will go straight down into the lava. Sorry, Leo, it had to be done. And if he finally gets over here, he'll see a nice sign that says, hi. I know he'll enjoy that. He always says hi to me, so I might as well say hi back. Every once in a while, it seems like a nice thing to do, right? And then we'll have a nice spot for him to land so we can move on to the next section. Now, if Leo wanted to feel lava today, he might just get his wish with this next contraption that I'm building for him. This next section is going to include some parkour as well. However, it's going to be a little bit technical. Throughout this section of the parkour, I've added some observer blocks. And what these are going to do is when Leo arrives, it's going to sense Leo in front of him. And then it's going to activate all of these pistons. And these pistons are going to try to push him off. However, I've made it not too difficult because if I made it really difficult, it would be really hard for me to watch. I mean, Leo already struggles every now and then. I can't, I can't do him that dirty, guys. So, with saying that, the only thing that he really has to worry about in this section is the first piston moving back and forth and the last one. Because in the middle, we have some of these blocks that I've added that he can just simply avoid all the pistons with and just jump to those and he'll make it to the end. The only section he has to worry about, like I said, is the very beginning one and the last one. And then he'll be over to the next section. And with that being said, let's move on to the next section ourselves. So this next section's gonna be fun. Not only will there be lava, but it's gonna be underground, kind of like a basement setting. And you guessed it, more parkour. So let's go ahead and empty out all of this real quick. And boom. Okay, whoa, how did that lava get there? I, I didn't even realize it was there already. Must have been calling my name. However, moving on, 
Leo's gonna have to jump across a couple of these easy blocks. I mean, I'm not making it too difficult right at the beginning of this parkour section. It's kind of more about the fun about this one. Look around the atmosphere. And then as he goes up here, he's gonna have to make a couple of head hitter jumps, which are a little bit harder, but not too complicated because I'm not making the distance too far. After that, he's gonna have to jump down to these slime blocks and let's just say those slime blocks are not easy to land on. Every time he tries to land on them, he will not be able to have any traction whatsoever and he will have to fight for his life quite literally to stay on them and jump to each block just like this so not too difficult but anything could happen look around you there's tons of lava so who knows hey benji oh what's up leo How, how's it going over there oh everything's going good everything's fine but uh i had one little thing that's been bothering me lately oh yeah well what is it leo so you know how i usually love lava right i usually love it just touching it the texture and all that yeah i do absolutely leo that's why we always add a little bit of lava here and there and well i hate it now what why do you hate lava now because you know how we normally respawn and even though i die in the lava and everything like that i usually come back unscathed yeah absolutely leo that's how this game works you know we just respawn and well that didn't happen this time benji i looked down in my arm and i was like oh no there's a burn mark a burn mark what you didn't you didn't respawn unscathed no can you believe that benji i'm scarred forever i don't know what to do well have you have you tried resetting yourself again uh, no i haven't of course why wouldn't i wait that's actually a really good idea benji okay i'm just gonna try that now but just know that i don't like lava anymore it freaks me out now oh well uh <laughs> i'm assuming you don't want me to add it to the build then right Exactly! If I see it in your build, I'm gonna freak out, Benji! Just don't add it, please! Um, yeah, absolutely, Leo. I I definitely won't. I, def I definitely won't. <sighs> okay, good. But I'm gonna go do what you said and uh, reset myself and hopefully that works because I don't want to have a burn mark on me anymore. That would be terrible. <sighs> yeah, just go try that, Leo. I think it'll work out for you. Okay, Benji. Well, I think I'm gonna try it when I'm at your place because something tells me I'm gonna respawn a couple of times and I might as well just wait, but uh, I'll definitely try it later. All right, Leo. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you soon. Alrighty, see you, Benji. Good luck on your build. You too, bud. Whew. All right. Well, now to catch you guys up, we're now into the second skyscraper, which is what I dug into a second ago. And we are building a maze. So Leo has to go through that parkour earlier, come into here and do a maze. And then that's going to lead into the third skyscraper with a walkway made out of iron, which is going to lead him into the next set of... Uh, <laughs> dare I say, more lava parkour. I know, I know, he's gonna be mad at me for that, but guys, I have to make it interesting. This is just the main way to do it. I love lava. I can't let my love for lava go just for this situation. Oh, but, you know, we'll find out what happens. I think Leo will get over it eventually, guys. What do you think? Leave a comment down below if you think he'll get over it eventually. I think he will. This is just a phase. So currently, what we're doing in the third skyscraper is we're breaking some of the pieces of the floor, and what we're gonna do with those open broken spots is replace it with lava gotta make it difficult and also this is gonna lead him to the right elevator which is the elevator we're gonna need him to go in but the other elevator on the left is also gonna have a path to it however once he gets there he's going to have to realize that that one is out of order and he's gonna have to go all the way back to the right elevator which is obviously the right way to go so we'll see if he actually chooses that way or the other way he might not even go to the left elevator which would make things much faster but obviously only time will tell and once leo makes it to the right elevator which is the right way to go he's gonna go up that ladder that i have placed in there for him he's gonna go past all the other floors and the way that he's gonna know he doesn't have to go to the other floors is i'm gonna put lava in those ones so if he tries to go in there it will probably hurt just a little bit so hopefully he catches on that he's not supposed to go in there and to go straight up to the top now once he reaches the top he's gonna realize that eventually he's gonna have to go on top of this helipad which where i'm going to have a chest filled with an ender pearl and a sword. Now, this next section is going to be kind of awesome. So he's going to have to throw that ender pearl that I supplied for him in that chest to this area that I'm building right here out of obsidian. And he's going to have to land right here in order to make it to the last section. Good luck, Leo. Your aim better be on point. Otherwise, you're definitely going to miss. And I may not supply you with another ender pearl and you might just lose and not make it to the treasure. We'll see, though. I might supply you with more if you fail. We'll see. 
After all that lava that I added after you saying you didn't like it anymore, I might just owe you one. This next area that I'm adding is gonna be a mob area, which is why I gave Leo a sword earlier so he can defend himself. Mr. Victor is gonna be shining once more, we hope. However, before he gets to the mob area, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more parkour. So, I wanted to add some pistons. He's gonna jump from piston to piston, make it there, make it there. And now, I want him to go over here to these doors and do some door parkour, because that's just different. I wanted to be switching it up a little bit today. After he makes it past all of this, then he can fight the mobs, and it'll be pretty cool to see again. Now, after all that, I add a final platform with a simple puzzle using item frames and ghost blocks. The solution to the puzzle is going to be picking the path with both diamonds standing upright on the item frame. Or he could just jump around, it's really up to Leo. Anywho, on the first wall, both paths are going to be correct paths. One path is going to be incorrect on the second one, and then on the third one, it's going to be the same way, however, it's going to be a bit more cramped because even the correct one is going to have a trapdoor on it just to confuse Leo a little bit. Sorry, Leo. Hopefully you get the idea, though. Nothing personal, of course. It's never anything personal. It's simply for entertainment. And after he's done making those decisions at the puzzle I made, he's gonna go over here and I'm gonna add a couple of ladder jumps for him to make it to the very last bit of this section. And the last bit of this section is the end. He just wins. But I'm gonna make it look really cool. This is gonna be like his penthouse suite. And if you don't know what that is, it's a very luxurious apartment on the top floor of a building just like this. So why not do that for Leo? I think if he makes it this far, he's earned it. Gonna add some gold blocks because this is one of Leo's favorite blocks, I just already know. And then inside the chest, we're gonna have some yin and yang action with some diamond blocks and some gold blocks. I just know he's gonna love this. Alright, but now that completes my build and I think it's time that we check up on Leo and see what he's done. Cause oh, would you look at that? Our time is ending in just a couple of seconds. Hey Leo, how's it going over there? We have about 10 seconds left of the build, are you ready? Oh, only 10 seconds? That's perfect! I'm just adding the last bit of the blocks, and... done! Wow, okay, with some time to spare. Good job, Leo. Alright, I'm headed over, alright? Alright, I'm so excited! Alright, Leo, my eyes are closed. I haven't looked yet. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes! Oh my god! Leo, Leo, you built this? Uh-huh! Wow, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Welcome to the best village. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far, Leo. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it's a good village. I can tell that you put your soul into it, but I, I mean, you haven't seen mine just yet. Oh, well, that's true, but uh, did you at least notice the inspiration from the villagers' villages? I absolutely did, Leo. And uh, before you keep going with that, though, I'm going to go ahead and enter, all right? Whoa, there's so much lava in here. Oh my gosh, Leo. <laughs> I know, don't you just love it? Uh, well, yeah, I love looking at it, but now there's a chance that I could fall into it. And also, how is this house not burning on fire? Isn't wood supposed to burn from lava? I don't, that doesn't make any sense. Don't even worry about dying right there, Benji, because I can go ahead and get you respawned right back to where you were. And about the lava, uh, that's kind of a long story because, well, you see, I kind of signed my life away to a witch. What? You did what? Yeah, I see, I signed this piece of paper and she said, as long as you give me your blood, I can make this house never catch on fire, even if you put the most flammable thing next to it. Leo, why did you do that? You know what that means, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. It means that this house will never catch on fire. Well, yeah, Leo, but like in the afterlife, you're going to have some issues. <laughs> like what? There couldn't be any issues because once the afterlife comes, I know where I'm going. Uh, seriously? And, and you're all right with that? <laughs> yeah, of course. You're going there too, Benji. Uh, not me. I I can't go there. I, I... But you are. The respawn screen, silly. Uh, oh, oh, the, the respawn screen. You know, honestly, yeah, you're right. Where else would we go? This is the only place that we go. Exactly. That's why I'm not even scared at all, Benji. And also, I was kind of joking. I didn't sign my life away to a witch. That was just a joke. Uh, really? Why, why'd you have me going like that? Well, I mean, there was still a witch involved, but I didn't sign my life away. She just kind of cursed the lava, one might say. You know what? I, I don't even want to know anymore, Leo. Just, just, we'll let it go. I need to keep focusing on this parkour that you've set up for me. Oh, no problem, Benji. And look at you. You made it to the very top. Heck yeah, I did. 
So, uh, do I just jump to that slime block over there and... Oh, I see what we need to do. Do you? I think. Oh, look at that. I did it on my first try. Look at that. All right, Leo, what's in store for me in this second house you have going on here? And honestly, after taking a second look, you killed this. This build is really good. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, for this build that I have for you now, you're going to have to go in there and then do some more parkour. But be careful, because I may have just added one of those ghost blocks that you did on me last time. Oh, okay, a ghost block. Well, now that I know that it's here, at least it won't freak me out as much. Yeah, I mean, you know, it did freak me out a lot, so I figured I would just throw you a solid. Thanks, Leo. Yeah, honestly, that you know how I get freaked out, so that helped me a lot. And also, Leo, there's something that I wanted to bring up to you. Oh, 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 after I'm done dying, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wanted to bring this up to you, Leo. This build, I don't know if you noticed, but I definitely noticed. Let me just ignore this pain. But there's no dirt blocks. You built an entire build without any dirt blocks whatsoever. This is insane. <laughs> you know, I was just going to see if you noticed. Well, at, at first, I didn't really notice because it, it caught me off guard. I was I was looking at something that I, I guess I couldn't believe was your build, but it was. Oh, thank you. You know, I've just been telling you, Benji, I think that I'm becoming somewhat of a pro myself. I mean, maybe, maybe slightly better. Slightly better. I'll say that. <laughs> I'll take it. That's a step in the right direction. I'd hate to admit it, but uh, yeah. But Leo, what's this? I know we've had a lot of it, but right now we're just going to do some more parkour. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm here for it. I'm a parkour master. I'm a pro. Jump to here, jump to there, jump to that slime block. Nothing I haven't done before. Wait, what did that say? Whoa. <laughs> Yay. That's a good message. I like that one. All right. So do I just go through this iron door right here? Absolutely. Uh, it didn't do anything. Are you sure? Uh, maybe. Leo, come on. Just give me a hint here. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I think I just found your ghost block. Oh, <laughs> you did. And now... I'm sorry to tell you, Benji, but uh, I brought your worst fear back. Oh, oh no, you did. You know what? I, I take it back what I said earlier. D you're not a pro anymore. Th this is way too scary. You brought back the dirt. Yeah, I, I kind of did. I, I thought I had to pay a little bit of a homage to my classic build style, you know? Oh, you know what? That That's true. I'll, I'll let it slide this time, Leo. <sighs> okay, good, because I just don't want to lose my pro build status building up. I mean, that's taken me so long to get it built. Okay, all right. Well, don't worry. I'm not taking it too deep to heart. I'm just a little nervous right now. I'm just trying to find my way out of this maze. <sighs> don't worry, Benji. You're almost there. I can feel it. Remember, all you have to do is find a way out. Wow, uh, thank you so much. I, I, I know, come on. <laughs> I know, I just like to mess around with you. But uh, seriously, if you just keep moving forward, you may just be surprised. All right, let's see. Whoa, wait, wait, you're right. I found it. See, I told you you were close. Well, dang, okay, good thing I just kept moving. I'm glad I didn't shut down. All right, so what's next? I guess I'll eat this steak, revitalize, and oh my goodness, it's a skeleton. Oh my gosh. Leo, you didn't supply me with any tools. How am I supposed to kill this? Well, you know, you're pretty strong, right? You've been hitting the gym, I thought. Well, yeah, I've been hitting the gym, but not. I still have to burst mobs. This is, oh, I'm not even gonna open that door, Leo. I, I already know what's behind that. That's a zombie. Well, yeah, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think you, you just need to check. Oh, oh, you released it. <laughs> just, just don't open that door again. We'll leave him back there. Anyways, look forward and keep on going. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, I made it out. So was that it, Leo? <laughs> no, not just yet. We have to go over to the next house, which is the fourth house. And then you have to go on some pressure plates. And then you have to get all the way across. And uh, you might just uh, complete it. I don't know, but we'll see. Woo, good luck. Oh, okay, it's one of these things. This just screams TNT, Leo. I don't know. Oh, and I was right. <laughs> yeah, you were a little bit right about that. Just uh, be careful and watch your step. <laughs> we wouldn't uh, uh, have those respawn screens going. I'm just going to run for it. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that. That kind of worked for you. But can you do that the whole way, though? You don't know where the door is. Oh, darn it, you're right. I don't know where to go. Uh, I can't just make a break for it this time like I did the other times. <laughs> That's right. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Man, this is tough. I, uh, 
This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought it was gonna be, huh, Leo? Ha, <laughs> uh-uh, that's why we have the hidden door! You're just gonna have to check everywhere! Huh, oh, no, 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 that wasn't it, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. Uh, uh. Okay, I know, I know what I'm gonna have to do now. I'm gonna have to take it slower. One jump at a time. Where are the dirt blocks? Okay, that just didn't work at all. <laughs> I don't know, Benji. Maybe you should stick to that running strat. It seemed to work better for you. I mean, just from observing. No nothing personal, but, you know. Leo, I'm gonna need you to just calm down for a second, all right? Let me work. I can figure this out. Trust me. All right, so if I go over here, if I do 2 plus 2 equals 4, carried by the square root of... Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Let's just jump over here, eventually. Ha! Okay, that one was just not the right one, now was it? Ah, uh, the pain, the pain. Now, Benji, something I did want to tell you, though, is that the more that you get rid of, the closer you can get to the door. So if you just keep doing this strat of just maybe, you know, dying over and over, I'd hate to say that, you might just get to the door quicker. I don't know, but uh, it might be worth a try. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? I was going to disagree with you, but after falling for what? Like my fourth, fifth time, I, th I think I might just keep doing what I'm doing. That might be the only answer. That's the spirit. Now, oh, look at that. You did it. Oh, my gosh. I knew you could do it, Benji. Oh, thank you. I'm just glad to be out of there. The TNT is pretty fun for me and all, but oh, I can only take so much of it. All right, now you just have to figure out the code. Okay, Leo, but where do I look for the code? Like, where would that be at? It's just one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, wait, I won? You did, you did it, you made it to the end, let's go! Let's go, this is awesome! What did you put in the chest for me? Let's find out. Wow, this is so cool. You know that I love purple, so honestly, this is all that I could ever ask for. You know, ever since you told me that your favorite color was purple, I just thought that these were the perfect things to give you when you win. Yes, no, these are awesome. I love these, Leo. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, now are you ready to see my build? Am I ever? Oh my goodness, let's go! All right, Leo, here we are. Oh my gosh, whoa, that is a huge building! And you gave me a grand entrance? Oh, this is so snazzy, I was not expecting this. Oh, so when can I go? Well, you can start right now if you want, Leo. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. All right, here we go! Oh, I just cannot believe how tall this building is. All right, time to go in here and do this. Whoa, you got some parkour going on in here? Absolutely, Leo. It's something that you've never seen quite like it, all right? is There's parkour and there's lava. I know you like the texture of it. Oh, I really do. But I just don't like to fall in it at the same time, which is kind of counterintuitive considering I like the texture. Oh, look at me. I'm killing it. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. That hurt a little bit. Yeah, but I can't even lie, Leo. You were honestly doing really well right there. Oh, oh okay. You know, just, just, just never mind. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Just keep going. All right. Keep trying. That's all I can do, right? I mean, yeah, I fell once or twice, but I know I can do it. Absolutely, Leo. Watch these next couple jumps. You got this. I already know. Yes, you're right. Just look at this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Glass block, glass block. <laughs> all right. Up here. Go up there. Oh, I'm totally doing good right now. All right, make it to that jump. This one right here. Jump, jump. And all right, what is this? Um, hmm. What are you going to do, Leo? Oopsie. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that wasn't quite right, Leo. Um, maybe try one more time. There you go. Yes, I absolutely did it. But what's over here? Oh my gosh, no way. It's just a sign that says hi. Hello! Oh, I love saying hi. It's like my favorite activity. But uh, do I just jump down here, Benji? Yeah, go ahead. You'll be safe. Trust me. I have a safe landing pad for you. Geronimo! Ooh! Okay, yeah, that was good. I didn't even feel it. What was I thinking? Water is like nothing. Exactly. But Leo, this next area... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, gee, that kind of hurt, Benji. But yeah, I was just going to explain to you, Leo, that this next section is very difficult and you need to try very carefully. Leo, just just take a second. Listen, all right, I'll, I'll tell you how, how this has to go down, all right? Okay, just just what am I supposed to do? All right, so you have to time it just right. Uh, okay, Leo, uh, uh, you're not listening to me, bud. Watch, just like that. What do you mean, just like that? 
Oh, oh right. Wait, you can't see me yet. I'm not I'm not here quite yet. Let, let me fix this for you. I think it's going a little bit too fast. All right. So, can I get my respawn? Thank you. All right. I can do this. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. You're so close, Leo. Just once you get past that first block, the rest is very easy. You just have to make it to the sides on the right, and then you can pass all the other pistons. This is going to take a minute, isn't it? Don't worry, Leo. Listen, you can do this. It's not too difficult. You just have to time that one right, and that after that, it won't be too difficult. I even slowed it down for you. Okay, here I go. Oh, darn it. It's okay. Try it one more time, Leo. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe just one more time. Okay, here I go. One more time. I'm in pain. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm on the second block. Okay, now, Benji, where do I go from here? Just keep going. Go to the right, like I said. If you keep going along those blocks, you won't even have to worry about the pistons pushing you off. Okay, but then that means I have to make it to the... Okay. Woo, that was close. I was just going to say I have to make it to that glass block. Now I have to make it to this one. Made it easily. Now I made it to there. And... Woo. All right. Woo. Okay, we're getting there. Look at you, Leo. You did it. Oh, I did. I knew I could do it. It just took me a couple tries. Now, uh, what's going on over here in this other section? Okay, cool. So I'm glad you asked. Go ahead and drop down in there and you'll, you'll basically see what's going on. Oh, I don't know, Benji. I see a lot of lava and I'm, uh, I'm heating up. It's getting a little bit too crispy out here. Too crispy? Oh, come on. You love lava. Well, not looking at it. You're, you're right. That's me. All right. I'll still go down. Oh, more parkour. Okay. This is cool. So I just have to keep jumping from here to here, right? Absolutely. Yep. Keep jumping to those blocks and then you'll make it to this other section over here where it gets a little bit different. <laughs> oh, I did it. Okay. That was so easy. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I'm just going to retract that statement. <laughs> but, uh... Now, I think I need to pay more attention to these blocks. Absolutely. Good idea. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, whoa. Well, I didn't even know I could do that. I did that on my first try, Benji. Can you believe it? And these? One, uh, two, and uh, three. Oh, oh, my gosh. I made it to this section. Are you proud of me? Leo, I'm very proud of you. That was actually really difficult. Those slime blocks, I did not think you were going to get those on your first try. You have blown my expectations out of the water. <laughs> That's what I love to hear. Now what am I doing? All right, so this next section is a bit of a maze, Leo. So basically just find the end like you tell me, and you'll be good. Oh, come on. I need a little bit more of a description than that. Yours are much harder than mine. Oh, come on, Leo. When have you ever needed an explanation from me? All the past mazes I've made, you've gone through with flying colors. Come on. Oh, man. You know what? I, I guess you're right. I, I don't really need any help. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty close, though. Ooh, you know what, though? I, uh, I can't say that you're hot or cold, but uh, something happened right there, Leo. I'll tell you that much. The only thing that's happening right now is that I'm really lost. I mean, yeah, Leo, come on. That's the whole point. You're in a maze, man. You're in a maze. Come on. You're right. Anyway, something's telling me I'm close. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I knew it. My radar was going off in my head. I was like, tick, 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 and then it was there. I was like, whoa. And now I can just go up these ladders and make it to the next section. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoa, this is so awesome. I've never been in a skyscraper like this before, Benji. Wait, really? I thought we went on that one trip together downtown in, like, New York City. Were you not there with me? No, remember? I had to stay home and watch our dog. Oh, that's right. Well, you know what, Leo? I'm I'm glad that I could bring a slice of New York City here to you. Because now you can experience it. It's just slightly different. But, see, as you have here, we got more parkour. I'm already on the case. But what's this? Hmm... Okay, I think I should go this way. Oh, no, no, that's just some more lava. I, I definitely don't want to go in that. I like, I kind of do, but I know I shouldn't. Ooh, and this looks like a heavy drop. I definitely don't want to fall here. Okay, Ooh. Ooh. okay. Ooh. These iron bars are so thin. And then I go here, and then I can make it to that ladder. Ooh, I feel like I'm a firefighter going up all these ladders, Benji. <laughs> I guess, yeah, something like that. Well, that was kind of the main reason. Oh, my legs that hurt like crazy. But you know what? I'm already back up. We're all good. Oh, I, uh, I need a reset. Sorry. 
Okay, now back where I left off. I feel like a firefighter when I'm on these ladders because that's what they do, right? They have to climb up those ladders. But what's in this door? Hmm. Nope, I don't need that. Jump over here. Jump over there. Mm -mm -mm. What's in there? Mm -mm. You're getting hotter, Leo. Very close. Oh, oh, is that supposed to be a joke because I keep landing in the lava? Oh, no, no, no. Leo, that's not what I meant by it. Come on, don't take it that seriously. Well, I kind of came with the circumstance. I don't know. I was just... Oh, sorry, Benji. I didn't mean to be mean like that. Leo, it, it's all good. Trust me. I saw what you were trying to say. It's, it's all okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. I think I made it to where I needed to be. Oh, do I just go all the way to the top? Well, you gotta... You kind of have to decide that for yourself. Do you want to go into the floors with lava or go all the way to the top? I choose the top. Whoa, this is so cool. I've never been this high up on a city building before. It's so pretty up here. Right? You can, like, hear the birds chirping, and, uh, now you're on a helipad. What do you do here? Well, I gotta open this chest, of course. Ooh, is that a sword and a... Oh, a ender pearl. What am I gonna do with that, Benji? Well, I'd say take a look around. See see where you might want to land. Land. Hmm. Where do I need to go? Hmm. Oh, I see it. Is that where you need me to go with that arrow over there? I think so, Leo. Go ahead and give it a try. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. I totally landed it. I'm so glad I didn't miss because I don't want to know what would have happened if I missed that. Honestly, me either, because I wasn't going to give you another ender pearl. What? Are you serious? Oh, anyways, it's fine. Oh, there's so many mobs in here. Oh, oh my gosh, I don't have my armor, Benji. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I know I didn't supply you with all the armor and the shield this time, but think about it. Think of all the other times you've been the victor. Do you remember that? Oh my goodness, you're right. <laughs> I just need to tap into the inner victor. <laughs> Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. Yes, zombies take that and that. I am the victor. I don't need armor. I don't need a shield. I just need this one sword and then I can do anything that I... Ugh. Anything that my heart imagines it. Anything that my arms can do, handle, anything like that in between. I can have... I can have a whole family. I can have kids. I can have anything that you can imagine. Hmm. That's the spirit, Leo. Keep it up. You're killing it. Oh my goodness, I am. And I only have one left. Oh, they're all gone. Ooh. Now what, Benji? I totally nailed that. Yes, you really did. I, I, I can't even believe how fast that you got rid of all of those mobs. Me either. I mean, I only had a diamond sword and I literally annihilated them. It's because I'm the victor, Benji. Oh, you're so right. Every time I'm struggling with the mobs, I just need to imagine that I'm the victor. Exactly, because I mean, every time I've seen you in that victor mindset, it's almost like you're invincible. I know. And what's crazy is I literally feel that way too. It's almost like something just comes over me like I'm not even myself. Honestly, it, it kind of terrifies me. But, ooh, what is this? Oh, did I just get a free diamond? Uh, Leo, you, you were supposed to look at those, not take them. Oh, um, well, dang, which one do I choose now? Oh, I don't know, Benji. What am I supposed to do? Darn it. Oh, the, what? Leo, come on. You're going to have to choose a random one now because you decided to take them off the item frame. Oh, come on. Darn it. I just want to make it across. Oh, you see that? I totally cheated the system. Darn it, you did. I, I should have just added some ghost blocks in the side. Man, you totally outsmarted me, Leo. <laughs> what can I say? I am becoming a little bit more of a pro. Oh, and I chose the right one, too. Would you look at that? Hmm, would you choose the one on the right or the one on the left? Hmm, this one looks promising. But I'm going to go with this one. Oh, is that, is that lava down there? Uh, Leo, you were supposed to fall in that. You weren't supposed to dodge it. You totally cheated. What? What do you mean I cheated? Oh, uh, whatever. Look, you know what you did, all right? I don't know what I did. I just used my resources. Come on, I'm not cheating. All right, whatever you say. Hey, look at this, though. You totally won. Oh, my goodness, I did. Whoa, that was such a fun adventure, Benji. You made those buildings so cool. And I can't believe all this gold and diamond blocks that I have now. Thank you so much. Of course, Leo. You totally deserved it. So go ahead and enjoy the treasure and keep feeling like the man because that's what you are. And the victor. Don't forget that. 
Oh, how could I? Because I am the victor. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Hi, Benji. Guess what? Today, we're going to be doing the massive volcano build challenge. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. You know that I'm always ready to bring that heat. Well, good, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing today, Leo. We're going to have 15 minutes to build a really cool volcano. And inside, obviously, you know how we do. We have the obstacles in there, and you'll have to avoid them and get all the way through them to get to the very end to get to the treasure. So what do you say? Are you ready? Uh-huh, absolutely. You know I'm always ready for builds, Benji. But uh, can I get started with something to give me a jump start? Oh, absolutely. I got you. Here's a lava bucket to get you started. Ooh, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, awesome. I'm going to go get ready now, Benji. All right, you better be wishing yourself some luck because I'm going to be bringing this heat. I don't need luck, Leo. Come on, I'm going to be making the best thing possible. Time starts now. Oh, let's go. All right, guys, so I can't even lie. I can't be bothered to build a volcano today, so we're just going to go ahead and boop, paste that right in. Awesome. Uh, nobody has to know that. Just don't even comment it. Don't say anything about it to Leo. Just we're, we're going to keep on going, all right? I'm not going to lie, though. The person who built this did a fantastic job, and that is coming from a pro, just saying. But to start off, I think I'm going to start with some parkour. So we're going to break into this thing right here and start building into that. But give me one second. Okay, as you guys can see, we got this place open wide up, and we're just gonna go ahead and build some parkour, and what kind of parkour? I'm thinking with some ladders, because everybody knows on this channel, well, if you don't, I'm gonna introduce you. Leo here loves ladder parkour. He's been trying to get better at it, and every time that he goes into my parkour, I try to supply him with it so that he can keep on progressing. Aren't I just a nice guy? I know, I know. Hold your applause, hold your applause. Anywho, da, da, da. okay, it looks good. I think I'm gonna add some iron bars to this though. Okay, let's do that. Benji, did you just say iron bars? Uh, yeah, I, I did. Uh, why? What's up, Leo? Oh no! Oh, the memories are flooding back right now, Benji! Ah! Memories? Oh, what do you mean memories, Leo? What's going on with you, bud? Explain. Oh, so do you remember that dog we had last year? Oh, that dog. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Well, what's up? Why? Well, I never told you about this, but there was one day where he got really angry with me, and I just, you know how we kept him in that crate all the time, and it had iron bars formed around it? Oh, y yes, I do remember that. Yeah. Why? What happened? Well, let's just say when you went on that week trip, I never left the crate, and I was living off of dog food and water. It was absolutely awful. Huh? You're telling me our dog did that to you and you didn't even tell me? How did you escape? Also, why did you keep it to yourself? Well, I didn't really escape. He just, he just, I, I actually don't know. I think he wiped my memory and it just came flooding back now all of a sudden. But he let me out, I'm assuming, and then he wanted to make it not a big deal. So he, he really did a schemer there. <laughs> That's so weird. But yeah, anyways, just uh, no iron bars, okay? Well, dang, okay, I, I didn't realize it was that deep for you, but uh, uh, don't feel bad if you do see the iron bars, okay? It's just, it might be part of my build. Huh? What? You're still adding them after I said all of that? Uh, uh, maybe, Leo. I mean, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'm sorry that happened to you, though. Dang, that's, that's insane. It's okay. I'm totally over it now. As you can see, I'm totally upbeat. But, uh, it was just something that you reminded me when you said the iron bars. But as long as I don't see them again, I'll be okay. Okay, good, good. That's what I wanted to hear, because I can't be having you freaking out. Well, at least forever. That would be bad. Exactly, so don't even worry about it. I'll be a okay So good luck on the rest of your build, though, Benji. I'm gonna keep working on mine. Sounds good, Leo. All right, love to hear it. Oh, guys, I mean, that was insane. I didn't know he went through all of that, but, uh, we're gonna still have the iron bars, because content, you know? Sorry, Leo. Oh, yeah, and this honey wall that I just built right here, he's going to have to slide across it to make it to this block right here. Oh, and he won't fall just like that. Uh, he'll, he'll hopefully make it. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, he'll go there, slide to there, and then he'll do some simple jump parkour just like that. And uh, give me just one second. I'll complete the rest of this. Okay, I completed all the parkour, and you'll see it later whenever Leo starts to do it. But this next section is going to be fun. It's going to be a maze. Everybody loves a good maze. And then once the maze is built, he's going to go all the way through it. But it's going to be made out of glass. And not just any glass, purple glass. I know, purple glass is the best glass that anybody has ever seen. Well, at least to me, I think it's the best. Now, 
now that this is being built and once it's finished we're gonna move on and i think i might just add something to where it goes up yeah give me just one second i'll think about that all right i am happy with the maze right now it turned out pretty awesome but i'm not done there I decided, you know, what I said earlier, I, it's still going to go. We're going to add a second story to the maze, and that way he'll have some more fun, and it'll be more confusing, and then he can move on to the next section. But for now, he's going to have to go through this maze as well. But all right, moving on to the next section. Oh, and just wanted to check in before I go completely to the next section. I finished both of the mazes, and this is where the other part's going to go. Would you look at that? Looking super cool, super clean. All right, moving on now. <laughs> All right, so for this next section, Leo is going to have to make a decision, and the decision's going to be guess the right door. And there's not really going to be a bunch of context on the right door, except that one in the middle is going to be purple, and the other two on the other two sides are going to be a different color. Probably yellow. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll make it yellow. Absolutely. And so... With that being said, if he goes through the yellow doors, one will lead him to an eminent falling death, and then the other one will lead him to an eminent burning death into a pit of lava. So, he really does not want that. The only thing he might want is the yellow door, but that will not help him in this case. And of course, the correct color is going to be purple, because for obvious reasons at this point. But this challenge does not stop here, because once he goes through these, he's going to have to go through two more. And those ones are going to be a little bit trickier, but we won't show those. We'll show those when Leo goes through them. All right, off to the next section. Cool, so this next room is going to be nether themed, as you can see. And then in this chest, I'm going to supply him with some armor and something to fend off against some mobs with. Because guess what? That's exactly what he's going to be doing, is fighting against some mobs that could be from the nether. I, I'm not too sure, you know, <laughs> but I, it probably will be from the nether. Anywho, I'm supplying him with supplies, so it's not like he'll go in cold turkey. He's going to have something to defend himself with. And let's just say what he fights against will be blazing hot. And that's all I'll leave you with. If you can't figure it out, you'll see it in a little while, so don't even worry about it. But we can go ahead and move on to the next part, which is actually the end. So give me one second. Boom! Here we are in the treasure room. So when Leo gets here, he's gonna have a lot of fun because he's gonna love to see all this gold after going through all of that hardship. We're gonna add some of this yellow concrete like we have here. And then we're gonna add a chest filled with tons more gold. And then around the chest, I think we could add some gold blocks as well to add that zing to the section, all right? And then we should be good after we do that. And all right, time's up. Time to go see what our friend Leo's done over there. All right, Leo, time's up. Here I come. Oh, hey, Benji. What's going on? I'm so glad to see you. Are you ready to see my build? Uh, yeah, man. Look at this. This is actually looking really awesome, dude. What's happening over here? So, so how do I enter? Well, you know, don't worry about that just yet. All I want you to do is walk around, kind of observe, and then just see where it goes from there. Uh, okay, or I could supply myself with steak real quick first, just in case. You know, there's a lot of lava here. Put myself in survival mode. All right, I'm ready, Leo. Okay, let me look around and see what I can find. Okay, good luck. I think there's a couple of things you might find interesting over here. Uh, what, the giant mountain of lava? No, silly. Maybe the entrance, but it's not right in front of you. It's going to be a little bit to the edge. Okay, all right. Thank you for the hint. I was going to say, yeah, that, that, that's a lot of lava. It's definitely interesting, though, I I think. Is this an invisible block thing that we're doing again, Leo? Is that is that what we're doing? I don't know. It, it could be. It might not be, though. So you might just be running into a wall, and that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to check the back of it, because otherwise I don't think there's an entrance anywhere else, right? It could be. Oh, oh, would you look at that? There's two doors right there. I don't know why I didn't just put that in the front, but you know what? You can go ahead and go inside now and start your journey. All right, here I go. Ooh, okay. The lava in here, I must say to you, Leo, is immaculate. Okay, the placement, chef's kiss. All right, good job. I knew you'd like the lava, even though this is a volcano, so, you know, it does make sense for the, the whole context of it all, but there is parkour like you're doing right now, and oh, you totally missed the honey. Oh, uh, yeah, just a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, wait, do I have to fully restart, Leo? Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get you right back over here. No, no, forget about it. It's fine. We're, I'm basically already back over there. Oh, hey, yeah, you are. Look at that. Oh, uh. 
Uh, uh, almost there. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, I honestly thought you were gonna fall into the lava this time like you did earlier, but you totally blew my expectations out of the water. That was really impressive. Thank you, thank you. And this is why I keep the stake on me, because now I can regen a little bit, keep going on this ladder parkour, jump to there. Okay. Whew. Eat a little bit more so I can regen fully, and this is a big jump right here. I think I could do it, though. Huh. Oh, I totally did it. Okay. There we go. Jump there. All right. Jump right here. And I just go all the way around this pillar, I'm assuming. Yes, that's perfect. Keep on going, Benji. All right. Oh, some soul sand. Oh, that was close. Okay. If I didn't keep that momentum there, I probably would have fell. But I totally did it, Leo. All right. I'm moving on to the next part, huh? You totally are. And if you look around right now, you might just guess that you're in a maze. A maze? Oh, all right. Well, wait. Well, you know what? I think I'm in a maze mint that you keep making it out of dirt, Leo. You know I'm scared of this stuff. I, I can't handle being in this confined space with all this dirt. There's all these gray dots in the walls, and they really get to me, man. I, I can't handle it. Oh, this better not be a big maze, Leo. Oh, don't worry. It's kind of a medium size. You won't be in here for too long. <laughs> you totally got it anyway, Benji. You're pretty smart, right? <coughs> Smart? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't become a pro for no reason. I mean, come on. But, I mean, I'm still in here, though, Leo. And just when you say me- Oh, wait, never mind. I totally found the exit. All right, we're good, Leo. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. And, uh, that's a lot of mobs in there. What, what am I doing there? Well, if you look in those chests right there, I've supplied you with some good stuff so you can move on to the next section safely. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, I get some armor and a diamond sword. Thank you, Leo. You have truly supplied me good here. You know, only the best for my best bro, Benji. <laughs> Thank you, bro. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Ugh, I hate zombies so much. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting cornered. Okay. Oh, good thing I have armor on. There's skeletons too. Oh no, I didn't even see them. Oh my gosh, they're so skinny and gross and weird. And why don't they have meat on their bones? Ugh. Okay. Wait, wait. Did I do it? Oh, okay, cool. Eat my steak up, regen a little bit, and that's it. Good job, Benji! You totally defeated all of them so quickly! And might I say, you were totally brave as well! Oh, you know me. I, a pro's gotta stay brave out here for everybody, uh, you know, coming up and all that stuff, you know. But wh what do I do here? Oh, okay, I see. I think I know what I gotta do here. I gotta choose the right door, don't I? Uh-huh, that's right! Go ahead and make a choice, Benji! Which one do you think is going to be the right door? Because if it's the wrong door, there might be consequences! Consequences? What kind are you talking about? Oh, whatever. Oh my gosh! Oh! Uh, uh. Okay, now I understand what consequences you're talking about. Wow, okay. That was terrifying. Yep, you don't want to make the wrong decision, Benji. Um, but you kind of know how it works here. It's not the purple door. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Diamond sword. I still have it. Use that on these mobs. Get rid of them in here first. Okay. Scramble a little bit. Okay, there we go. Whew. That was close. All right. Oh, I can't believe you taunted me with these purple doors again, Leo. Come on. I mean, I do warn you, like, every single time that you're not supposed to go in the purple doors because you're in my build. But, you know, don't even worry about it, Benji. It's, it's totally okay. But good job. You totally beat it. You won. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. You know that I love this amethyst. Oh, it's cool. It's purple. I might put it on my desk. All right. Good job on this build, Leo. You honestly did really well. And, uh, are you ready to see my volcano now? I got something really cool planned for you. Boy, am I. I know mine was cool, but I just can't wait to see yours. I know it's like 10 times better. All right, let's go ahead and get a move on then. All right, check this out, Leo. What do you think? Ooh, what do I think? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Let me take a look. Um... Whoa! Oh my gosh, that thing is huge! Did you build all of that? Uh, yeah, I totally did. Definitely didn't paste it from, uh, someone else. But yeah, I totally did. Uh, go ahead and check it out. <laughs> okay, here I go! Alright, so where do I go in from? I know that there's a secret place to go in from because that's kind of how I did it for you. Yep, exactly. It's gonna be somewhere on this mountain, so <laughs> good luck finding it. That's all I gotta say. This is a big volcano. You're telling me! This is the first time I'm seeing it and you know where the entrance is and I don't! So hopefully I find it quickly because I don't want to drag this on for too long. Hmm, where would it be? Would you put it on the floor or would you put it closer to the top? I just, I just don't know. 
I don't know. Personally, I don't think I would put it on the floor or ground level. I think you got to travel up a little bit. Mm, okay, that's a good hint. Okay, I'm going to play off that and look around up here in the middle somewhere. I think it would be more like uh, right around here somewhere, right? Right over there. Hmm, up these stairs, maybe? Oh, this kind of looks peculiar. This looks like a way that might lead me to where I need to go. Hmm, <laughs> whoa, that's a cool, that's, uh, what do you call those again? A waterfall? Yeah, but in this case, it would be a lava fall, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. A lava fall. That's so cool. Um, am I going the right way, Benji? This looks like a little bit different from what you may have planned for me, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. It could be, but you know, it's always good to check things out. You never know what you might find. Exactly. Ooh, okay, I'm doing this parkour. Jumping right here, right there. And, oh, wait, this is totally where you want me to go. I just have to jump through that hole right there, right? That tiny, tiny, tiny one block by one block hole? <laughs> yeah, I didn't really make it easy for you, did I? You didn't, but here I go. Wait, oh, my gosh, I totally did it. Wow, let's go. Whoa, okay, so what do I do down here? Okay, wow, you actually did it on your first try. I'm really impressed by that. So, as you can tell, you're in this huge pit of the lava right here. You could call it the center of the earth, the, uh, you know, whatever, really. But you're going to have to do some parkour, Leo. And as you can see, I set up some uh, ladders for you because I know that you've been trying to get better. Oh, you know me so well. Oh, wait, where did I go right there? Anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, jump right there and I'm getting better. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, and then now I got to go over to this block. Oh, oh, I had no momentum, bitchy. Oh. Yeah, come on, Leo. You know you have to jump just like this. You got to you got to jump from there to there and you have to do it with a little bit momentum. Like make sure you get a running st Okay. Uh <laughs> That's not what you do, Leo. Oh, my bad. I'm still waking up. I didn't have my coffee this morning. Oh, there you go, Leo. Okay, okay, you made it. Jump there. And oh, okay. Don't don't worry. I'm going to respawn you right here. No sweat at all, okay? Yes, yes, I got it. I know. I know how this works, Benji. Come on, come on. I've been doing this for a little bit now. I, I got it. Okay, okay. Watch this. I'm going to go right here, and then I jump over to that. I'm, like, so good at these tiny little pole parkours. Ow, 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 ow. Well, <laughs> good. Not great, I guess. Right, Leo? Yeah, yeah. Whatever, Benji. I'm just going to make it the whole way now without dying, just to prove you how good I am. Whoa, that's a bold statement, Leo. Okay, let's see if you can do it, though. If you can do it, I'd be impressed. Don't talk about that. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Okay, that didn't happen. My eyes were closed. I, I wasn't even paying attention. That's right. Okay, so now I'm moving up to the next section, Benji. And now oh, I got more ladder parkour to do. Oh, let's go. Okay, now just uh, don't count what happened earlier, please. Just just please, that didn't happen. I need, I need to make it on one go. This is the rest of it for me. Okay, jump right there. Oh, okay. Whew. Jump right there. Go right up to the next bar. Oh, 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 oh. Leo, I thought you weren't going to die anymore. What happened? Oh, don't talk about it, Benji. Come on. Well, look, okay, what you said earlier is off, okay? You totally died, okay? And you're, you're still dying, Leo. Oh, okay, you're right. I still need more practice, but that's okay. That's how I get better. If I never failed, I never knew that I'd need to get better. That's exactly right, Leo, and nor would you know how to get better because you wouldn't have failed at all, so you would just think that you're the best all the time when really there's always room for improvement. Exactly, but this one I totally have! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, you do have it, just maybe not the first try, Leo, okay? Whoa, I totally did it right there! Oh, whoa, 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 what just happened right there? That was weird. Okay, but I'm making it there. Then I go, oh, what's going on around me? I jump right there, jump there. Oh, a honey wall. I did one of these for you. Okay, I see you, Benji. Let's go. Huh. Jump on the side and... Oh, 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 oh. Thank you for, you know, complimenting me on my bill, but take your time, Leo. Come on, there's nobody to impress here but me. But you know, don't worry about that. I'm still just making sure you're doing it on the best way possible. And look at that. You totally made it through the honey with no sweat whatsoever on the second try. That's all it took. Yes, that's true. Okay, now I see what you're trying to say. Just practice makes perfect. Right, Benji? Exactly. You're totally understanding it now. All right, so you can go ahead and move on. Okay, now uh, what am I looking at? 
Well, what would you guess this would be, Leo? Hmm, is this a maze, Benji? Oh no, these things take forever! Ding, 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 ding! It is a maze, but don't worry, Leo, this will not take you forever. Plus, you already know that I trust you with these mazes because you are a natural at mazes, right, Leo? I mean, if you say so, I'm definitely a natural at mazes, okay? Yep, I definitely am. I'll get through this no sweat at all. Mm, let's see. Let's go over here and nope. Okay. Oh, I definitely didn't go the right way. You would think a maze that is see-through would be really easy. Oh, wait. I made it to the second floor. <laughs> let's go. All right. Go over there. Uh -uh -uh. When will my reflection show? Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, okay, I gotta go over here. Um, this way, that way. No, no, no. Okay, maybe right here. Am I doing this right, Benji? I just don't know. Well, look ahead of you. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I totally made it to the next area. You did, and just like how you had for me, I have this section for you. You're gonna have to choose the right door. Which one do you think it's gonna be? It's going to be yellow because you know that I love yellow. Ow! 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 My gosh! Ow! Ow! That was not the right door. Well, yeah, come on. You know my favorite color is purple, Leo. I mean, it's the same rules that apply for yours to mine. <laughs> You're totally right. It's just like mine. But unlike mine, um, I'm not going to make the same mistake that you did and choose the wrong one twice just because I like the color. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. I just really like purple, all right? But now, which door do you choose now because these are more purple? This one. What in the world? How'd you get that one right, man? Oh, come on. You were supposed to choose the other one, so this lasted longer. Well, <laughs> sometimes that happens to you with mine, so you know what? Payback. And I'm not really one to get payback, though, but, <laughs> you know. Anyways, I see some armor, Benji. Am I about to fight something? Yes, actually. Ah! Oh, oh, my goodness. It's already attacking me, Benji. What's going on? Uh, okay, I know what it is now. It's, uh, the, uh, it's Blaze. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Oh, wait, where'd they go? Don't run for me now. You came in with that energy. I'm gonna have to finish you off. Ow! 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 Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm in the treasure room. Oh, this is so cool. Ow! But I still need to get rid of these blazes. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, oh, get rid of you and get rid of you. Okay. Woo! Oh my gosh, that was crazy, Benji. Did you plan that? No, I did not plan for them to meet you in the treasure room or while you were putting on the armor at all. But you know what? <laughs> Sometimes those things happen, Leo, and uh, you totally did it right. And look at you. You're at the treasure room. Congratulations. Yeah, you're totally right. Oh, this is so awesome and worth it. Look at all this gold. I'm so rich. I'm going to put this on my step stool, and then I'm going to put this on my lawn, and then I'm going to put this in my bedroom. Oh, there's just so many places. Let's go. Heck yeah, Leo. Good job. You totally earned it. If you guys want to see more videos from us, click that video on the screen. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more notifications. That's right. Don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.